Happy Friday! Hi, everyone. I don't know why in my closed captions that I said Abby Fryer, but you know what? That's fine. Hi, everybody! Happy Friday! Hello! It's Valheim Day! And I'm pretty much jumping straight in re relatively soon, but hello! Abby Fryer to you too! <laughs> hello! I am Viking makeup y type thing. I don't know what's going on anymore, but I'm not brave enough to go to just chatting looking like this. It's not happening. That was a dab from Oro, by the way. Oro, left or right? Hi, everybody. How are you? How are you all doing today? Let me say hi to everyone. Uh, Zitwar, hello. Hi, Silmar. Hi, Krister. Hi, Wibble. Hi, Fried Nerves. Hi, Gogs. Hi, Zombie. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, Tig. Hi, F I already said hi to Fried Nerves. Hi, Viora. Hi, Oro. Hi, Kukachu. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm still scrolling. I'm still scrolling. I've, I'm, I'll get there, okay? I'll get there. Hi, Vala. Hello. Hi, Dokabop. Hello, Cinna, my love. Hi. Um, um, hi, Wendy. Hi, Kay. Uh, uh, hi, Elvira. I'm still scrolling. I'm sorry. Thank you so far. Um, um, thank you very much, Gogs. I appreciate it. Right. Okay. Okay, got it. Um, I'm getting an error occurred from the dab. Did I get rid of the dab clip? That's weird. That's weird. Hi, hello. Viking purple forest raven witch. Yes. I was going to do purple face makeup, but um, I don't actually have any face paint. I only have eyeshadow and it was going to take a long time. Oh, thank you, Sina. I really like doing it because it feels like something special. Do you know what I mean? Are you spanking my butt, Oro? <laughs> I meant to ask, by the way, is it saintly or is that how you say your name? Hi. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, Are you still there? <laughs> Condiment! Okay, so how has it already been almost That's two years? That's Hashtag boop, brigade for life. Thank you so much for the resub. Happy 23 months, welcome back! Almost two whole years. Almost two whole years. Thank you, Aura. Hi, Mac! I really wanted to have, like, a faux fur thing, but it's actually really hard to find one, so I'm gonna try. Send me. Okay, perfect. How are you doing? Um, aura for a spunk butt, aura then clean butt. <laughs> hey, Ben, how are you? Thank you, Kayla. Good morning. Um, so they're not tickly, but there's a bit here that's kind of itchy. So I'm trying to fix- you have to understand, as attacked my feathers. As attacked my feathers. Like, they were sitting on the table and he dragged them down and played with them. So there are some feathers missing. I'm trying my best. Brady, are you coming? I'm so excited. We have to find new place to build. Um, it does seem like a fresh start is the best idea because literally I had a bunch of crap in my inventory and I went to my private thing and just left it in a chest and I immediately got flooded with new recipes. So I'm going to start with my existing character. You can't just ask me that. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm excited to build fresh. Yay, Silmar. Hey, Reldis, how are you? If you bring feathers near as they become as feathers. Remember the black fur of the Night's Watch War? That was Ikea- That was Ikea bath mats? Really? Okay, I need to make that happen. Thank you, Daphne. It's actually a lot trickier. I was think- I actually looked for like a faux fur rug, because I thought that might work. But I couldn't find one that fitted that would arrive in time, so we're wearing the feathers again. But maybe we'll do something next week. Surprise fur, baby's not having a crisis. It's mum but burb. Um, they watched it being put together slowly over time, so, um they're fine but whenever i was wearing my mara wig for the role play on sunday um Az was like and then i spoke to him and he was like yeah okay yay ready on the note of building have you seen or played ranch simulator no i've heard of it but i haven't i haven't played it it's cheap and it worked hey if it works does akia still have those game of thrones furs <laughs> bath mats are faux sheepskin rugs are what we often use in larp that's what i was thinking the thing is i was trying to look for uh Amazon and they didn't have anything that was actually going to be suitable so I am going to see if I can get myself to a store that sells like faux rugs faux rugs faux sheepskin or like faux fur or whatever rugs dropped off my stuff in a private world I forgot I built a whole ass mansion in that save so how much stuff are you bringing with you I'm bringing food and I'm bringing my iron armor and my troll skin armor and I'm bringing my bronze sword on my bow and that's kind of it and like the unique items that i got so like the wishbone and the um 
What's the other thing? Oh, the belt. Go rugs are the ones that stand on you. They're the wrens and they do seem to be in stock. Maybe, I mean, okay, I could order them for delivery, but... Yeah, okay, so that's the kind of thing I was looking for, exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of some of those. And then make them into something that works. We're gonna be jumping very quickly into Valheim today because I, like I said in chat, I I may be brave, but I'm not. I'm not wearing this makeup on just chatting. Brave, I'm just not. <laughs> I have what my character has on them, but I'm gonna join too. So I have a bunch of mats, but I left the mats in my pri my other server, like my private things, just so I don't lose them, and. I'm going to aim to not need to use them because I'm going to gather new stuff, but I, I like just iron and stuff. I've left it in a chest on a private playthrough and T has the stuff that we gathered together on his private playthrough. So that way I know it's still there and I didn't just waste it, but I'm going to try and gather stuff myself. I have my ore saved in another world in case we reach a shortage again. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I was thinking. Let's go right now. We'll go. We'll go. I need to set the server up. Hold on. Um, it should be exactly the same stuff. Let me log on and test first, though, if you don't mind. I need to s actually turn it on. Your game server is starting. Okay, give me a sec. Um, I'm going to launch the game. And actually leave the music playing for a second. I'm going to launch the game. Let me see. It says it's online. I don't know if it takes like a minute to boot, but we're going to give it a try. Okay, let's get straight into it. Music will be muted for just a second. Got the game right before it went on sale like the numpty I am. You should be able to refund it if you haven't played it yet. And then once you've refunded it, oh, it didn't join the server. That's a bit weird. Okay, hang on. Stand by. Stand by. My, my shortcut does not appear to be joining the server and it's not because of the IP address. So is that correct? That is correct. It may just have not been up yet. Yay, is it where that's awesome? Okay, it seems to be working now. You will sit by, you don't want to stand, that's fine. You're super excited to pick this up next week. It's really fun. You have everything else in your private server if we need. Okay, perfect. So I brought I just brought some sausages. <laughs> I brought some sausages and I think I brought some stew. Okay, the server does appear to be working. I know you have no audio or video right now. Give me one sec, I will fix that. Okay, the server does appear to be working. My shortcut didn't though. So just keep that in mind. Give it a sec. What's my inventory? I brought some thistle and some honey. Oh, I, oh, I did bring my bees. I brought my bees. So here we go. I, I think we're on a completely fresh server or completely fresh world. I'm pretty sure. And I have no idea what seed they used. So that's fun. We have to kill the thing again. But look, I did it. I have a pocket full of bees. I brought my troll armor and I have my iron scale armor and iron greaves as well. And I brought my, my weapons and then I just have food. Oh, and I brought some startling cores because I thought that might be a nice thing to get us started. Hello. Hello, hello. Make sure you add yourself as visible to other players uh, if you forgot. Hi, Annie. How are you? Right, so we need to find a place to build, hey? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat some food real quick. So I have I have a turnip. I don't think I can eat the turnip. I have two stacks of sausages. Why do I have two stacks of sausages? I have some honey. What does yellow mean? Yellow gives you Oh, so this is like a health food, this is like a stamina food. Got it. Okay. Hi Senna! So I'm gonna eat a bunch of food. There we go. Cool. Hello friend. Oh my God, you look so cool. Hello. What the heck? You look so cool. Hi. Hugin. Yes, I'm aware. Oh, there's a house over here. I'm gonna go investigate. On a game given server, what happens to your previous playthroughs, buildings and such? So I've saved the, so we can have multiple worlds on the same server. So it's saved and it's backed up and everything. All right, there's nothing in here. <laughs> oh, a piece of candy. So it's backed up. It's just not, um, it's not where we're playing right now. 
Okay, so we're gonna need to find somewhere. Let's find the coast. You're all welcome to do whatever you want. But I'm gonna go try find the coast. All I want to know is where. Hi, Ophelia! No problem, thank you. Ooh, I have some... I have some berries. I left my little boars behind! I'm so sad. I just want to find the coast. Is the main thing. Because... Hi! Um... I feel that will be important in navigating. You landed on Sinna's head. <laughs> so there were actually a lot of improvements made to how it performs uh, based on uh, an, a, like a command that Malakir put in and it seems to have worked. Is there anything in here? There was a chest. Ooh. Exciting. I missed this game a lot. Hi, Nigel. Thank you. How are you? I abandoned my little oinky. I'm so sad. There's lots of berries. Hi, buddy. Don't punch me. Okay, you want a fist fight? <laughs> you want to fight? I get the impression that I'm going away from the coast. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Hi, Kuraya. How are you? Hail Satan. Rosa. Hello. Why? Hello. Rosa. <laughs> Thank you for the tip, Rosa. Let's get Viking married. Let's do it. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate you. How are you? That that alert lasts for a very long time. I don't really know why. I should probably reduce how long it is on the screen. All right, I am not finding coast. <laughs> Do you need to start planning your treehouse? I would. I would plan. Wait, is this it? Do I see water? I think I might see water. Hey! Oh, this is a nice area here. We could build here. Look. This is nice. We're a Vikings polyamorous. Let's get married. Look, this is quite nice. I mean, it's on a hill is the only problem. So if that bothers anybody. It would also be worth having a look around to see if we can find anywhere that's like... Uh... Ooh, a chest. It had one amber and one feather. My inventory is now full. It'd be worth trying to see if we could find like... Um, different... Cinefine Coast as well. Okay, where's Cinna? Sin is over here. So we're on like an island here. I'm gonna follow the coast around and see if we can find any like other uh like areas and stuff. Is that a butterfly? No, it's a bird. Oh, I'm like that meme. <laughs> I'm like the meme. <laughs> is this a pigeon? Alright. I missed this game a lot, actually. I don't really know why I stopped playing it. I missed it. The music is great. Is this a burp? <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. So we have a lot of these, actually. There's a lot of areas that you could totally build. Ah! Sir? I will fuck you up. What did I say? I told you I'd fuck you up. There's some meat here. Some... Actually, I'm going to take it. Um, I do not need a feather. You can have the feather if you want. Oh, I learned how to make boar jerky. Hells yeah! Come at me, bro. Alright, cool. Don't worry, they weren't two store bo boars. Two store boars? Two star boars. Feeling the same. I really like it. I'd like to get up to the next boss. Although, I didn't really learn how to do that. I suppose potions would help. I've been watching your stream for years for free, and it's always been fun. So you and T get to take away tonight. My treat. Ah, zombie! Friday. That's so kind. Thank you. I really appreciate it. We will. We'll get a good takeaway tonight. Thank you so much. That's super generous. Hi! Hello. I'm I had a really fun I have a really fancy shield. Right, I don't know. What do we feel about Oh well, we should really look for more stuff, huh? Let's look for like at least the whatever it was called. Was it called the Black Forest? Let's see if we can find Black Forest. Um, because if we can find Black Forest as well, that would be good. Potential building place on the coast here? Okay, cool. I find two that could be pretty nice, but did you find somewhere that borders on another zone? Hi! Bye! Ooh, this is all nice, actually. There's loads of nice places here. Get a large burger? I could. 
Thank you very much, zombie. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> Definitely noticing the difference in like stamina from food. I think maybe I need... Do fruits, are they a stamina food? Yeah, they appear to be a stamina food. Cool. Coast and a river inland here, maybe. Okay, cool. Let's have a little look. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna scout the coast and I'll come around and meet Sina up top. It tells you how long the food's gonna last, which is pretty nice. Ooh, there's a building here. I'm assuming it's already been looted. Let's see. Oh, I didn't even have anything. Okay. I probably should have broken down the chest, but I didn't. <laughs> Hello? Oh, this is pretty. This is nice. Okay, so whereabouts is... There's the, the river. Okay, river type thing goes... Kind of up towards Senna anyway. There's so many boars here. Do we have any like... There's a one star boar. Don't kill it. One star... Two one star boars. Don't kill them. They're... Okay, I'm going to mark those. Hold on. I'm going to mark where they are. Uh, one star boar. Go away, sir. I'm trying to save your life. <laughs> N nice little beachside condo opp opportunity. Exactly. What's in here? A chest. Oh, and a tree. It has a torch. Uh, why do I still have this? I don't need this. You can have this. I don't have a torch though. I should bring that. I never did get um the headlamp thing. That would have been handy, hey? All right, I'm coming. All right, so yeah, there's definitely a river here. Um. I don't know where it's gonna go though. I think it'll loop around to Sinna. We're just looking for somewhere to build our community area, I guess. Cause we had a really lovely community area before. Excuse me. What's this? Pier looks pretty nice too. Ooh, there's like a mountainy bit there. Black forest across the river. Okay, sweet. Holy crap, look at this. This is nice. Oh yeah, okay, look, there's Black Forest there. We just want it to be relatively close so that we can easily get to different like materials and stuff. Because we don't necessarily have to build on the same uh, place, on the same island that we started, right? Eh. Eh. River is pretty. We want to be close to, fo yeah, so we want to be close to the one with the pine trees. We could move over to the other island. Do you want to get on a boat? Freddy, do you want to build your boat? And just go and see what we find. We can always make like a teleporter from the starting, but that's cute. From the starting, am I near Cinna? I think I am. Bold of you to assume I didn't already. <laughs> Should I make a Valheim voice channel, by the way, for anyone who wants to kind of hang out in it? Would that be helpful in Discord? Hello. Oh, a one-star deer, too. Cool. This is very nice, actually, Cinna. This is very pretty. I'm going to mark this. If you want to, feel free to start building here, but I'm going to potential village site. Oh, apparently I ran out of typey space. Yes, please. Okay, we can do that. I'm going to put it... I'll make it today. I'm not going to be in it during stream, but you're welcome to hang out in it if you want. Um, where's Brad? Brad, Brad, are you across the river? <laughs> can you come pick me up? Marking them all as possible build. Okay, perfect. That's a great idea. I like your site. It's very nice. You're skirting the island. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I guess maybe I should check up north as well. I need to drink some coffee. I've been sitting here with a cup of coffee. I haven't drank any. I'm so confused because we're in a game category so quickly today. I know we did that on Monday with No Man's Sky, but... I almost said no ham. <laughs> no ham. It's weird how pretty it is, considering the character models are so simple. And it's very, like, kind of pixelated almost. Oh, many, many boars. It's oddly pretty. So many berries. My goodness. So many berries. I'm really excited to get into it, though, because um, 
our old server, really the only problem with our old server, was, or not server, but our old like save was that it was really laggy, but that kind of got fixed. All right, I'm gonna go this way. They did such a great job with the shaders. They really did. And the sky is so pretty. I feel between this and New World, I'm gonna be busy. I have a problem because I have No Man's Sky. I have this, I have New World, I have, uh, at least, like, I'm not actively doing a playthrough right now, but I will be starting Mass Effect 3 soon. When all pigs fly equally, is that no ham sky? Yes. Nope, nothing in here. Nothing in here. Um, I just got poisoned? Oh, it's the freaking. there's a beehive, hold on. Really? Ooh. I got a bee. I got a bee. And there's some honey. Yeah, there's some extra honey here if you want it. <laughs> Gonna need you to pick the same New World server as my other favorite people for purely selfish reasons. I am picking a server based on where... I already find more bees in the world than the last one. <laughs> um, I'm picking a server purely based on wherever Solu and Elk pick. Um, I think they, they're picking a server on the East Coast in NA. I don't know which one, though. My backlog keeps giving me the stink eye. It's ridiculous. I go through these phases where I have nothing that I feel like playing on stream. And then I have too much to play on stream. Yeah, I won't be playing on... Because all my friends are... Pretty much all my friends. Not all of my friends. But most of my friends are playing on NA together. So I'm probably going to play with them. We have had our first sin of disaster. I got stuck in a stream. Are you okay? Yeah, the food has visible timers. I like that. I like that a lot. E, do a roll. Do a barrel roll. Okay, what's that? That's another little island. It's just a little one. Oh, I'm sorry, Anya. I'm sorry. I'm on EU for ESO and that's pretty much it. Every other MMO I play, I'm on NA. The worst part is I had friends that I played with from EU and then they moved to the US and switched to NA and I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> Couldn't get a good connection on the EU servers in the beta for New World and had to connect to East NA. I couldn't get to the, um, I couldn't get a good connection. We were on West NA and it was awful for us. So I had said, like, if we weren't playing on East NA, I was probably going to have to play on EU because um, the lag was so bad. But I think they're picking an East NA server anyway, so. Thanks, that 90s kid. How are you? I seem to have wandered into the Black Forest. Okay, so you find Black Forest somewhere over there. Oh, it's across the river. Okay, perfect. Um, I think... I don't know. Do we? What do we want to do? Do we want to get on a boat and go? Because I'm down. I'm down. Beware of blue boys. <laughs> Beware of blue boys. The NAE servers in most games have a good balance of stability and player density. That is true. For sure. Too many games happening this autumn for some reason or I get another character for NA. Oh no, it's ridiculous. There's, there's so many things coming out. And I'm really looking forward to Battlefield 2042. But that's... Oh! That said, it's it's releasing on the same, same day as Endwalker. Which is kind of ridiculous. Endwalker uh, Early Access is happening. And that's kind of... It's just... And it's the same day I'm getting a tattoo. <laughs> like, why do I pick these days? I don't know how this happens. Yeah, I'm interested. I never watch the live letter live. I always read the recap afterwards. Or expect someone to DM me with information. Oh, hey! I find like a... Oh, this is very pretty, actually. I could eat another bite. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, well, this is pretty, but I don't think this is where we're going to build. I just think it's kind of pretty. Do you want to get on a boat and sail? Can we get on a boat and sail, Brad? I'd be down. Summer is so dry and I'm over... Yeah! So I have the Outer Wilds DLC in like a week-ish. And getting thingy tattoos... I'm excited. I'm getting witchy fingy tattoos. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. But of course it's the... D ah! I find another bee! <laughs> Why do I keep finding bees? 
Oh, I'm still poisoned. Hello? I want... I, I would like to acquire a bee. Thank you. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I need a stamina food. What's this like? That gives you 20. This gives you 35. Honey is definitely better. So I'm going to go get the honey that I dropped. Nice. You're getting little dot markings on your nails because I'm getting those. I'm getting uh, a crescent moon here. I'm getting little petals around this finger and I'm getting three little dots here. Early gameplay. Yeah. Well, I have stuff, but I'm I'm we're looking for somewhere to build our community village. I'm very excited. The dots on the fingies look really nice, though. Um, I thought about it. But I decided so because I'm getting so I'm getting moon here, the petals here, and then I'm getting um, the three little dots there. I'm really excited. There's a mountainy type. Well, I I say mountain. It's kind of a hill. <laughs> I'm gonna go look. World save in 30 seconds. I like that it tells you that. Let's have a little look see. Can you show your nails when you go on a brick? I can. They have smoky bits. They have like smoky tips. They're also slightly more pink. I'll show them in a full screen later. Um, they're, uh, they, they went a little bit pink because of my hair. <laughs> but that's okay. This game is pretty. Look at the sunset. Isn't it beautiful? What is this? Oh, hey, this is a pretty cool sight right here. I don't know if Brad replied to me. Thank you, Kukuchi. Yeah, you used it from when you had red hair. Yeah, the purple and the pink have kind of like stained my nails. Like a, they look a little bit pinker than they were. They were kind of like a nude color before. Nothing in here. This is kind of nice though. So we have like a river all the way around. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna mark this as a potential site. Potential. All right. I went through my other server, by the way, uh, like our, our existing server, and I have like so many markers for all of the different materials. <laughs> Most relaxing music. It's music is great. I know a lot of people who turned it off though, but it's different in each zone, which is really cool. So yeah, this is like a platform kind of thing. I like this. So I don't know. I think this is a potential as well. Waiting for my barber to do his bleaching course and I'll be getting same color, some color in my hair for the first time in years. Silver lavender sounds delightful. Um, I regret not having a little starting point because I am now, it's nighttime. I'm gonna go meet up with Brad. I like this site a lot. Y'all have to tell me what you think. Did my fashion report and I did not forget to use my bonus buff. Amazing. Good job. I'm proud of you. Where's Brad? Brad is over there. I'm coming to meet you. I like this site a lot, but it's up to all of you. I don't mind. And then I need to figure out what I'm going to build. I kind of want to make a big A-frame building this time. I'm going to fall in a hole. <laughs> well, I'm wet now. <laughs> I'm wet. Let me out of the water. I am going to drown at this rate. I need to wait for a second for my stamina to regen. I'm so virtuous. So virtuous. Okay, it's really dark. I would like... Please let me out of the water! Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna equip this. My torch is definitely not gonna last. That's okay. I found it in a chest. I didn't even make it. Um, this way. Where's Brad? Brad's over here. Okay. And then we need to think about getting started. Are we just going to build today? I kind of want to see what they have now. Because they have so many new recipes. So much virtue. Hi, PK. <laughs> um. Burb. Definitely burb. I got so excited I thought I saw Brad, but it was just the glowiness of my torch <laughs> really need to get lunch what are you gonna have i have my huel here which is gonna leave me with a little mustache there's your boat i seize it i'm coming i'm coming i'm ready to be a pirate right hang on 
Let me put my torch away. He only just had breakfast. Bud, I'm coming. I'm coming. I have to walk through the water. Okay, I'm ready. Let's sail. Oh, you have a torch. You're smart. You have the head torch. Right, we're going on an adventure to look for the new Boopheim location. I feel blurg and par for the course. I feel hungry all the time. I hate that. Do you ever get like... Oh, wait. Sin is almost here. Um, Do you ever get like... Uh, like when you get sick the day after you've been unwell, you like instantly become super intensely hungry and need to eat absolutely everything. Yes, boo time <laughs> for the booba. <laughs> yeah, you got to keep your strength up. I get like super hungry, like aggressively hungry. We're going on an adventure, no falling in the ocean. <laughs> Man, the serpent stew, is it serpent stew? Yeah, serpent stew lasts so long. So long. I see. I see you brought friends, Sina. <laughs> I love how we're like just, just chilling. Just had a snack, but I have leftover pasta in the fridge that's calling out to me. What kind of pasta though? Like what's on it? Fall is what you do. That's fair. I'm apparently soaking wet. <laughs> is it just me or do sausages last longer than they used to? I feel like they do. They feel like they uh, they last longer. We invest in a sandwich maker press device, so I'm making chicken guac and cheese toast. Oh, Pikachu, how dare you? That sounds delicious. You can make avo on toast. I love avocado. Wedding night. Holy shit. Hell yeah, look at us go. Okay, so we're going on an adventure. Oh, I see, yes, okay. There's There's some black forest there as well. PB and J Toasty the other day. Mm. I recommend that we build in a meadow because that means that when newer folks come by, um, they don't get attacked all the time. But I think we should be near other biomes. Oh, hey, are you coming to visit me and the Twitch baby in the afterlife? Because holy shit, Psyche, that look killed me underscore. Nevarious, thank you for the resub. Happy nine months. Welcome back. Hello. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, so we're going... Oh, this is definitely a river. It's very pretty. Oh, heck yeah. Look at this. Ouch. I love the boat sailing music. It's so good. It's so good. Hello, Leela. How are you? Thank you. By the way, if you are not... if like, Feel free to build yourself a little hut somewhere if you want to before we find somewhere to settle down for the... Uh, community village is totally fine. Um, I'm just scouting out some areas that would be good. <laughs> the various is all good. I'm good though, thank you. Hi Jinx! How are you? Alright. We on an adventure on a boat. Hey Trap, how's it going? This is a nice so this island here looks to be like primarily black forest we had black forest here as well i think right i liked this area quite a lot tired and having a sick kid again oh no for mini you that sucks being sick is no fun as well i kind of want to build a tree house <laughs> I also want to build a big A-frame building, so. Overslept because you were starting a new solo world last night. How did it go? Sausage. I eat it a sausage. Mmm. Oh, I really want sausages now. All right, adventure time. I really wish you could decorate your sail. I think that'd be really cool. Ooh, <laughs> I just punched my microphone at myself. <laughs> Oopsies! I think I kind of... Mm, I think I need a new... Uh, I thought it was the microphone boom arm, but it's the... Um, the shock mount. I think I need a new one because it's kind of floppy. <laughs> that could have definitely gone better. Actually, I just realized I can zoom all the way out. 
We're going on a skiding trip and I'm very excited. Ready, thank you for driving the boat. I'm very bad at it. I've done it, but I'm very bad at it. Let's explore the borders of the plains, find a nice abandoned village I might use as my base. That's cool. We're looking for a location to build Boopheim. Um, we have, so this site here is like surrounded by hills, as in like it's on a plateau and then there's hills sweeping down to the water, which is pretty cool. What do I do when I come to a river? Build a bridge, of course. Nice. Um, here is like Black Forest, so this is nice. I think Senna's one that she found was like around here somewhere. It was really pretty. We end the ocean. Wonder if the boats cosplay submarines still. I like it when it goes a meter underwater instead of on top of it. Yeah, it's scary. Ooh, look up ahead. Could it be swamp or is it more Black Forest? Can you give us a spin of your outfit? Uh, like my IRL outfit? I'm, I'm, I'm wearing normal clothes. I'm just, this is just a feather thing. <laughs> it's like a feather neck wrap. Sorry to ruin the illusion. <laughs> Looks like Black Forest up ahead. Could have some other stuff. I swear if the if if the little flying bastards are still a problem, I'm gonna be very upset. Because that is how you die. I do not have three boys hanging in the feathers. Uh Az attacks it every chance he can get. <laughs> I don't think he's noticed I'm sitting down yet. He attacks this constantly. There's some missing feathers actually because of him. <laughs> this looks kind of pretty actually. But we also need to find the NPC. I wonder if there's any new stuff. Has anybody read all of the um, patch notes? Because I didn't. I could have, but I was too excited to play. So I just got really excited. This is kind of cool. Honestly, this is my favorite part of the game as well. Meadow ahead on the left. Ooh, yeah, so there is. That could be cool. Is it a bad idea to go really far away from the starting point? What do we think? That's a cave over there. Check your build menu. Maybe new stuff already. Um, hold on. I have a coin stack. <laughs> and a cartography table. Wait, I never had a cartography table before. That's pretty cool. And a coin pile. Um... There might be some new stuff. Spice rack. Ooh, a cauldron improvement. That's pretty cool. Building stuff. So I got these earlier. I have cages. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put Solu in a cage. <laughs> and furniture. I have the dragon bed and the thrones and stuff. But I think those were there already. Share map data. Maybe. So you need fine wood, bone fragments, bronze, leather scraps, <laughs> raspberries. Do we use the raspberries as little pins? <laughs> yeah, we can make a spicy rack. It needs turnips, thistle, mushrooms, carrots, and dandelions. You can make a portal. That is true. Hold on, I need to see chat. Cartography. Apparently, there's a cartography table now. Yeah. How do I close the? I forget. Can someone tell me how to close the chat menu? Oh, it's just entered. Never mind. Yeah, so they have a thing now. Thank you, Valusia. I appreciate it. So I need a vote from everybody who's on the server at the minute and is likely to play on the server. Um, do we want to stay close to the spawn point or do we want to stay further away for the village? What do we think? The benefit of being further away is that if there is any lag due to buildings, the beginning point doesn't have any lag. Just spill some Korean instant noodles so my rack is currently quite spicy. Oh no. As long as there's a portal, no problem. Okay, do we have the stuff to make a portal actually? I forget what a portal needs. I have two startling cores I can donate to a portal and I can do the other end too. You brought stuff. Okay, cool. So we can make portals. Cool. Oops! You saw nothing. I'm fine. I I just need to figure out how to sit back down again without it. Eh, eh. There we go. <laughs> I vote close ish, maybe one island over, but Sin is right about portals. Okay. Cool. Oh yeah, fog. Hopefully we don't drift into like a plane or something. That would suck. <laughs> 
So I vote we scout this island and then loop back around. You could eat another bite. Literally me right now. I should probably eat another bite. But it feels bad eating this because it's like really good stuff. You know what I mean? God, I'm so sorry, Bruce, baby. <laughs> the patch yesterday added so many new things, though. So I'm really excited. So my vote, personally, would be possibly here. But that's just because I really like that. I am willing to take other suggestions on. I eat most of the crap until it's time to visit monsters, etc. You see, I only have these and some raw meat <laughs> and honey, I guess. I just feel like I'm conscious of trying to not die if we're like in the ocean. He's like that though. He'll only eat crap until they find stuff. Just died and died again trying to find my stuff. Oh no, what happened? You should, it, it saves your body though. Even if you die multiple times, you just have to remember which one it is. On the plus side, we shouldn't have too much. A skeleton? Wait, where were you? Mark it, ping it, ping it, ping it. I think it's middle mice to ping. Where did you find a skeleton? Because there might be a swamp. Were they even called swamps? Papyrus? <laughs> Still can't handle sailing. Oh no, I'm sorry. Would it help if I zoomed all the way in? Is that easier or is that worse? That's planes behind and to the right. Oh no. Where was your pink? Sorry, could you do it again, Gogs? I'm sorry. I'm, I've got the map open. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's really near the potential base area, I find. For anyone who's wondering, this is the potential base area, I thought. <laughs> Brad telling me that there's bees. You'll lurk for a moment, no worries. I'm sorry! Hi, Amalia! Thank you. How are you? Happy Friday. I'm very happy. I, I need to double check. Hold on while I'm in here. Um, I think... Do -do -do -do. That's not true. I am on 120 hertz. Why does it think that I'm on... There we go. Actually, I'm on 144, but I've got it set to 120. Graphics, motion blur is off, V-Sync is off. There was a thing, is it maybe in MISC? Okay, camera shake is off. What's the immersive camera? I do not know, but that's fine. Beansed. I'm just gonna build something small, got attacked and panic, so failed to take out my weapon, oh no. <laughs> so there's a skeleton kind of to the south of here. So there might be like a skeleton village or something, possibly. We're coming back. We're gonna, we're gonna, are we gonna thread the needle, Brad? I feel like we're threading the needle. Again, but in the opposite direction. We got lunch break, Noms. Nice. I kind of want snacks. I don't have any snacks, which is sad. But I do have a zombie mandated takeaway, which I could use. Need snacks for the live letter. Mm-hmm. What time does it start at? You got a bowl of crunchy nut? Mmm, yummy. Wee! I love it when the wind is kind of in our favor. The bees love bread. The bees are happy. I rescued my bees, but I did not rescue my boars. I probably should have released them. Even though I know the server, it like the, the save is gone, technically. Like, kind of gone. Um, I feel, <laughs> I feel like... It would have been kinder for me to release the boars. 3 a.m. for us. Okay. Oh, fog is like the worst idea for this, hey? Boars are forever in limbo. They're in a little, a little like, garden. All right, so I don't know. How do we feel? I kind of feel like here would be nice, but that's just me. It's on a nice flat plateau. It's near where Gogs find the skeleton. And we can always build multiple. But that's just my suggestion. Works for you. It's not too far away. So this island here has all black forest. And then here has all black forest. And there's 
potentially swamp. That would be nice. I also really like this little rivery area. That way, if people have to run, they can run across this river from the, sp the starting point. Look at that little gray dwarf going for a swim. Skeletons can be... Actually, that's true. Skeletons can be in Black Forest too. That's a very good point. I'm thinking of undead in general. Maybe we'll have Black Forest on this island. That'd be cool. I actually, when I got poisoned by the bees, I was very concerned that perhaps I had wandered into uh, one of those like villages that has roaming poisoning things in it. That would have sucked. All right, I have a really itchy nose. I'm, I'm just really wary of like smudging my makeup. <laughs> All right, let's get to building then. There should be enough room here, I think, and we can deforest further out if we want to. I wonder why it does a world save like that. Like, does that mean that if it, I guess if it crashes, it doesn't remember, but I haven't ever had the server crash. True. If it's a little bit smudged. Initially, my eyes were very, very clean, and then I just accidentally smudged it, and I was like, no, that looks better. Did you say building? Oh, if I must. Let's make sure we have enough space, and then I think the center should be, like, the kind of community center area again. World saved. Excellent. All right. So, yeah, I think this area here would be pretty cool, and it's also, like, halfway up a hill. Hi, Shani! How are you? We're on a boat, Shani. We on a mother flipping boat. <laughs> All right. I also have, I realized, yes, I can ping it right here. So the edge would be there. There's a river. There's a nice spot for a bridge between the starting island and our island, so I'm heading there first. Okay, cool. Hello, Viora. Get in, we're going sailing. <laughs> No need to be a hero anymore, I guess. <laughs> Morning, pancakes. How are you? Tired, sweaty, cross. I have a PSL and a cinnamon bun, so things are looking up. PSL's good. I have a pumpkin spice coffee. It's pretty nice. Community build project's a really cool idea. We had a really, really cool community center in a village before. I took absolutely no part in building it. <laughs> but it was very cool. Hi, Stabby. How are you? Hi, Red. How are you doing? All right, we made it. So yeah, it's just up this hill. Eh, I show. It's this way. <coughs> so, oops, I ran into a thing. I need some berries. Cause I don't have a lot of berries. Raspberries. All right, so we go up here. Up this way. I'm going to need to make a chest, so I'm going to ask that people don't steal the random stuff I brought that I'm going to drop on the floor. Okay. <laughs> did I bring my wishbone? I did. And I brought my key. Okay, cool. So yeah, it's here. What do we think? It has this cool thing here with a apparently skeletal remains. And it's like flat-ish. <laughs> and it has like... It's surrounded by hills. I think it looks kind of cool. And we could put like the community center in the middle. Thank you, Stabby. Hi, Timbo. How are you? Good morning. Those things are everywhere where I grew up. Really? That's cool. When I'm a bit more confident with this game and a damn good controller setup, I might look into opening up to other players and getting into a village build. That's cool. Uh, I'm just going to have a little scout around this way. So this is like a pretty steep hill. And then... I'm gonna look over here. Do I, I have the recipe to build a hoopy loop, right? I think I do. But is it a building? I'm pretty sure I learned the recipe to make a hoopy loop. Maybe it's furniture. Don't see it. I feel like I did. Maybe I didn't. I really feel like I did though. I don't see it. Oh well. You ping where you want the center to be? Uh, yeah, hold on. I'll come in. I feel... Apparently I'm dry again. Excellent. Right, so that's the edge. 
I was thinking the center could be like here. Ish. Get off my ass! Please. Thank you. Like right here. Sounds like a 70s back garden game. A hoopy loop? <laughs> It's a midsummer pole thing, um, but we Brad called it a hoopy loop. <laughs> Looking mighty cat like, thanks. I think. When you restart the server, does your character start from scratch as well? No, your character keeps anything that is in its inventory. Um, the um, the server. I've backed up the save, but we now have a fresh new save. Does this make sense as a, as a central point? I need to make a chest to store my stuff. Um, do, 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 do. On this rock right here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that. This, the ward that Brad put down. <laughs> wizard. <laughs> Excuse me. I would like you all to appreciate Brad's wizard. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go and see about uh getting some stuff this is kind of cool over here i want to see where i'm gonna build so i should have a look around and then truly magical i'm gonna try and pick out a location to build my house after i've had a little look around but first i do need to find somewhere to store my stuff temporarily now i've been here there was nothing in here so i could put yeah i'm gonna put a chest in here this looks good for a cinnaboat Where's your cinema? There. Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put my stuff. I'll figure it out. I'm going to drop my crap in this little building for a second. I'm going to drop my amber. I'm going to drop... Uh, not my bees. I'll drop my carrot seeds. And my raw meat. That should be enough for me to get plenty of wood and stuff together. Right. Uh, axe. Let's go. I only need normal wood. I don't need, like, fine wood or anything, so. So, wizard. Good lord, that tree took a while. Valheim seems a bit more colorful and graphically pleasing with the new update. I haven't seen too much more than just uh, what we already had. But I'm pretty excited. That log is going to fall down the hill. It look, to be fair, it looks mostly the same to me too. But I don't know if maybe there's other stuff that's different. If you know what I mean. Go away. Be gone. Foil beast. I need a way to repair my stuff. Alright. Cool. I'm going to make a chest. And uh, actually, no. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... I'll leave those there for now. I'm marking this. If you pick up my stuff, all I care about is that you give me back my... Actually, I'll pick it up. My carrot seeds. I don't care about the other stuff. <laughs> I just want my carrot seeds so I can have a little garden. I, it looks mostly the same to me, but if it's changed for you, that's cool. That's good things. Right, so Sinna's building here. Oh yeah, I need a hoe. I don't think I brought a hoe. Rubbish. Kind of want. Where do I want to build? I picked out this location and I don't. I mean, I could build around here, I guess. Unless someone else has claimed it. I could get rid of this building and build my own little space right here on this edge. That could be quite nice. Let's do that. It's <laughs> weird for me to ask me to join your server asking for a hoe. <laughs> Ah, good times. Okay, I'm going to build uh, a crafting station. And I'm going to build it right here. And uh, I have a cooking station. Ooh, an iron cooking station. I never made one of those before. Um, So that should give me the ability to get rid of these. And make my own. I do kind of need to make a hoe, though. Never, never leave home without your hoe. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Oh, I have no stamina. 
I'm gonna eat some honey. Sir, you need to back off. Go away, you beast. I never did make myself an iron sword. I made myself iron armor instead. I'm not sure if I appreciate that. Wise words indeed. <laughs> right, okay. This is progress. All right, now I need a hoe. How does one make a hoe? Crafting station needs a Oh, you son of a... <laughs> All right, let's make a, let's make a little, a little building for the crafting station, yeah? Forget how building works. Oh Lord, there we go. There we go. And uh, a roof, I'm gonna be honest with you. We are making it like this. That is your roof. Enjoy. You're welcome. There we go. Okay. So, how does one make a hoe? There we go. A hoe requires just stone. All right, sweet. Um, can I make a little chest just temporarily? Uh, furniture maybe? Yeah, okay. I'm going to make a little chest here. This is mine so that I can have some space. So, I'm going to put this in here. I'll keep the wood. My entrails are here. My bees. My bees! Hello. There we go. Sweet. Sado, thank you for the bitties! How are you? Uh, when, a, when a daddy ho and a mommy ho love each other very much. <laughs> right, I need some stone. I'm gonna go pick up some stones. There we go. Nice. Alright, we're getting started on the Bootheim village. Alright, let me craft a hoe. Don't believe I didn't bring a hoe with me. Who even am I? Uh, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna... I just wanna make sure it's kinda flat to the same level that this is. Do you know what I mean? This kinda idea here. I also, I'm making it an A-frame building and I kinda wanna face it in towards the center. Has a good balance where I can turn more graphics options on. It looks good before things seem so out of focus by having just. Ah, I see. Gotcha. I have run out of. Uh, look at the way I wield this. <laughs> I've run out of uh, stamina. I kind of want to make some standing torches as well, actually. So, how do I make the cheap ones? Stand like a normal one. Standing wood torch. I need some resin. Okay. I need some resin. Kinda wish I'd picked some up when I was fighting those little bastards. Not sure why I'm singing that. I'm sorry. Sin has already got started on building. You're building. Are you building a moat? I'm very excited by that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to delete this. I'm going to make this uh, boot pine. Um, and I need to mark my own house. But first of all, I would like some resin. Hello? Hello? Is this the house where I stored all my crap? Yes, it is. <laughs> Look, I find my crap. Yay. By the way, friends, I just discovered that Final Space actually released season three this year and I didn't know. Sorry, the reason that is relevant is because I just said, oh my crap, in my head. Okay, so I find a bunch of boar, but I did not find any grayling. So I guess no resin. Because actually, can you get resin from trees? You might be able to get resin from trees. I might be being silly. I'm probably being silly. Wood. You could eat another bite. Yes, I could. Hi, JL! We picked our new location! I show you. I show you. Hold on. Um, It's real dark. Alright. So this is where I'm gonna build. Ooh, pretty. Um, We have like a- we have like a big flat area. Here with a wizard. Um, and 
there's like a river run there. Pretty cool. Died again, another skeleton in the village area. Oh no! Hold on, I look. Maybe they come out at night now. You were up here, right? Oh yeah, so you were, okay. Get over here! Bad skeleton boy. I killed it. What did he drop? Nothing. Here lies Gogs. <laughs> Thanks, Sturm. Hello, how are you? Thank you, Obi-Wan. How are you? Yeah, they do. It's really interesting, Simbo. Super interesting. How far is it from the starting area? So... The starting area is right here, so you just go west and then you cross the river and you should see like a kind of very steep hill. Um, and we're up there. Right, I'm gonna build a little bit here because I don't have any resin to make. Uh, hey Saradak, how are you? I don't have any resin to make a torch right now. If anyone can spare a little tiny bit of resin or build me a torch in here so I can see what I'm doing, that would be great. Um, so I kind of want to build like a big A-frame thing. If you know what I mean. Actually, hang on. Let's get a little bit more of this. Invalid placement. What does that even mean? Why? Resin dropped to my house. Okay, I come. Thank you. Yeah, Silmar's building a bridge. Can anyone join the server? The details are in Discord. Um, so, yes. Um, the details are in the pinned message in... We can make windows, like actual windows. Uh, resin. Thank you. Um, the rules and everything are in there, uh, as well. It's all in the Valheim channel. Thanks, Philadelphia. <laughs> How are you today? Um, so I need to build... A... Eh! If you need some of that resin back, by the way, let me know. So now I'm just going to build a torch here so I can kind of get a little bit more of an idea of what I'm doing. Right, I need to lower the ground, or I need to flatten this, but for some reason it's not working. So maybe I have to uh, pathen, level ground, paved road, raise ground. Why can I not lower this? Why is it not lowering? Maybe I have to lower the stuff around it. I can eat more. I eat berry. Actual question. Yeah, genuine question. Why is this one not getting leveled? Too high, you have to use a pickaxe. Okay, gotcha. That kind of stone. Got it. Okay. All right. Ah! You little shit! <laughs> that was so rude! That was so rude. Unbelievable. Start of the game out completely new with a name, new name tune since if you just use a tune you already have, you get all the ranked up skills and grayed out stuff and not really a new run in the game. Wait, what do you mean grayed out stuff? It followed you, that's okay. I thought it was just randomly there. I was like, what the fuck? All right, I'm gonna eat. Right, I'm going to try and flatten this area now. I'm going to put this here because I'm not going to be building anything until this is flat. I kind of want to make like a little garden area at the back of my house too. This doesn't need to be super big, but it's going to be big-ish. Good morning, Johnny. How are you? I killed the skeleton, so you should be okay for now, Gogs. Not that I think you'll have any problems fighting a skeleton, but obviously it's it's significantly harder if uh, if you're busy building and stuff, and then it comes out of nowhere. <laughs> All right, there we go. It showed like on yours items you have ready to be unlocked as being gray. You mean like you mean in my crafting menu? Those are just gray because I don't have the materials. Um, I considered starting a new character, but I decided that rather than, like, lose everything, like, all the progress and leveling up and stuff I've done, I decided not to do that. All right, I think I want it to face that way. There's the wizard, so I'm gonna do that. Um, so... Time to get more wood. 
here we go. I do, I think, need to build another another one of these because it's quite far out and further than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. Now the question is, how am I going to do this? Okay, there we go. I'm going to build a rough kind of shape. Is that actually connected? Looks like it. Okay. And then I kind of, ooh, maybe I will bring the hoe back. <laughs> shut up. Okay, shut up. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Um, uh, repair. There we go. Uh, there we go. And before I have to actually start doing things like, um, making the ground like he heightening the ground but i was starting a new tune i did not get that blackbird following me around telling me stuff the stalker oh yeah that's fair see i only got to like i didn't I, like I, de I did not finish the game i didn't finish like what we had so i um i only got to like the third boss we as a community only got to like the third boss all right so i'm thinking that looks like it might be about right so then it's just a case of making it wide enough. Uh, I'm going to build another uh, torch halfway down so I can see a little bit better. And then I do think we're going to need another workbench. But that's okay. Um, missing requirement. Oh, I ran out of wood. That's fine. We'll go get some more. I'm going to need no more advanced workbenches soon because uh, this is going to need repaired. Repair uh, station level one. Yeah, but it's I think it's um, like an anvil or something that I need. Uh, where is it? That's the forge. Anvil. I think I need an anvil, which requires bronze. You got to the fourth boss, so you had a lot unlocked. So I did the third boss, and then I didn't do anything in the next biome over. All right. Um, forge for fixing anvils, a forge upgrade. Ah, okay. So for forge... Oh, I don't need as much. I need coal, wood, and copper. I do have copper bars, but they're in my other place, you know? So maybe I'll start using, I might put this away and start using a normal axe so that I can repair it. But I don't want to have that break and then not be able to fix it. So for a normal, where is it? For a stone axe, flint axe, which one's better? Flint axe is better. So I need six flint and four wood. I'm going to go look for some flint. I'm not going to go down that hill. <laughs> Because if I go down that hill, I might die. Hi, Gogs! I like where you've picked. I like the little stone area. I'm going to try and avoid picking up your stuff. Pharmacy stream blocked me, but now I'm home and can enjoy the shenanigans. Yay! We found our area to build. We will have to do all the bosses together. Um, I would like to do them on stream. And then we can resume our progress to the next boss that we didn't complete yet. But um, I would like to try and do that uh, together so that if new people are joining this time, that they don't have to uh, worry about like any of the invasions or whatever that happen. I think that'd be cool. I, go down I will go down that hill at some point. <laughs> Probably not intentionally at all. Ran into a problem where I lost my high level gear to miss. Yeah, they're really harsh. They're really harsh. I died to them a lot. All right, okay. How much do I have? I think I needed six. I got six, cool, let's go. Went back to my house. I should really mark my house so I know where I'm going. Cause I don't have a clue. <laughs> Ooh, my stuff's about to run out. I don't want to eat more serpent stuff, so. All right. Just gotta get up the hill. And then go a little bit further south. I'm being followed by a boar. Hold on. And by a freaking grayling. Go away! 
Apparently they increase the accuracy of Greylings. I'm not sure I approve of that. <laughs> I like that they were a little bit useless. All right, I stole your meat, I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Um, I need, I need one more wood. There's probably one lying around on the floor, right? Surely there must be one just lying around on the floor. There, that. You all need to leave me alone. They're so rude. Right, so let's go make it. Flint axe for me, please. Eh, right. Uh, oh no, it needs more wood, it needs four. Damn it, okay. Well, <laughs> I guess we're using this to cut down a little bit more. That gave me some resin. What about wood? There we go. Sweet. Let's go. Um, craft. All right, I'm going to use that for now instead. Because that allows me to get a little bit more wood. So, I got plenty of space. We can do this. It's all good. I'm going to cut down trees a little bit further away from my house so I don't drop them on my house. That would suck. When you saw early game, a small stone grave with a flat stone in front of it and one small pearl in the middle of the stone must be something buried there. Possibly. Possibly. I'm excited to discover all the new stuff. I need to eat because your girl has, you know what, we'll eat a sausage because I have extra sausages. The sound the deer makes is really weird. Super weird. All right. Hey, Ziffy, how are you? All right, cool. You have a tree problem? What happened? Are you okay? Do you require assistance? I'm coming. What happened? Oh. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> That sure is a floating tree you got there. Right, so I kind of want to put this there and then continue. Should really give myself some flooring at this point, but that's okay. Who needs floors, am I right? Floors are for the weak. Right, this, this definitely needs hoed. You heard me. I may need to lower it actually with a pickaxe. Um, I'm gonna put some flooring in. I know, actually no, flooring's not necessary yet. Yeah, at least you're not pinned by the tree. It could be a lot worse. All right, I kinda wanna make one of those big double doors. Oh, this is wrong. <laughs> Hang on. One more. And then Okay, do you know what? You are being awkward. Why? Okay, I think I might need my pickaxe for this. I think I need my pickaxe for this. All right, there we go. Oh, I ran out of wood. Are you kidding me? Oh no, wait, maybe I didn't. Maybe it's because I'm too far forward. Yeah, okay, I think it might be that. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I want one of those big double doors. How do I make those? Uh, that's a normal door. I need this, I think. So it needs 12 wood, cool. So this is kind of what I'm going for and then I'll have multiple floors. I'm being rustic. <laughs> I find some old houses with berry plots outside which seem new to me. Might be just because it was a new world seat though. Possibly. Um, I do feel, I'm stuck. I do feel like they will probably eventually give us the ability to grow berries. I don't know if they did this time though. I would really like it if they did. I think that'd be really cool. Because um, having like berry farms would be really sweet. Like imagine if we had like blueberries and raspberries growing in our uh, village and people could just harvest them for stuff. And make sure you clear your tree stumps, friends. God, these axes are terrible. 
I'm gonna do this. Aren't you worried about wild, wild Snapes? I don't really get Harry Potter references, but I know that Snape is a character. I, I, I look real talk. Never read Harry Potter. I think I watched one of the movies. <laughs> Blue bellies? It's a beatbox and blue belly. <laughs> that gets stuck in my head. Every time the alert goes off, it gets stuck in my head for the rest of the day. Every time. Without fail. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright. It's trying desperately to get stuck in my head again. Hi, Vihero. How are you? Not that I added anything yet to the game for it. I kind of want it to be longer than this. I suppose we could expand out this way once that's cleared out. So what I might do is I think I'm going to build one of these temporarily really far forward. And then I'm going to give it a roof. Makes sense, right? Because it needs a roof to work. There we go. That should give me the ability to build up here without having to worry. And then I'm going to give it... Oh, I ran out of wood. <laughs> Hello. That's fine. Oh, wow. Is that world famous variety streamer Psyche playing Hello. the new Valhalla Handel of War Ragnarok? Yes. Gasp. I am starstruck. <laughs> Don't be starstruck. Hi, Fluffy. Thank you for the biddies. How are you? All right. I need to do the thing. I need to get more wood. We're getting wood, friends. I am a variety streamer. I never go back and play games that I've played before. Ever, ever. It's totally not true. Don't listen to anybody. Alright, is that enough? Do I have enough wood to build door? I do. Hooray! How are you, Fluffy? Ah! Please. Okay. Big door. Big door energy. Oh, I need two. Can I afford it? Nope. Can't afford it. That's just fine, I guess. I feel like this is not going to be long enough. I think I'm going to need to extend it further. I think I will extend it further. Excuse me while I just break everything. I need to go at least another two squares up, I think. It's fine. Yay, a full week off! That's awesome! I, I had so many feels yesterday. So many feels. But it was worth it. Oh, that rock just straight up fell in a hole. <laughs> I also kind of want to turn this into like a ramp, but we'll figure it out. We love a good week off, eh? All right. I am probably going to be taking a long weekend next weekend, though I think it'll be on the opposite side. I don't know. We'll figure it out. What happened yesterday? I played Undertale for the first time. I finished it yesterday and it was so good, but it was also very like emotional. <laughs> I've never played it before and it was super emotional. I wasn't expecting it to be as emotional as it was. I know people told me that it was feelsy, but like I like to think of myself as a veteran for the feelsy games. Do you know what I mean? So I wasn't expecting it to get me quite as much as it did. <clears throat> Pan's Labyrinth. Oh yeah, that's a great, a great movie though. Great movie. All right, we're gonna extend that forward a little bit. Okay, give me some walls. I'm gonna run out of wood again, but oh no, the grind is in the way. Story of my life. Okay, we are a little bit underground. It's fine. What if I brought the hoe out and then did that? That's better. That's not going anywhere, but that's okay. We did it. Undertale's that retro looking one. Yes, it was very good. I really enjoyed it. Um, Okay, more wood, please. I'm going to need a lot here, but that's okay. All right. That looks better. That looks like what I'm going for. Okay, cool. Repair my crap that I can. You can make the exit on that side from the second floor. Ooh, actually, yeah, we could. And we could do like a ramp down to it and then there could be like a downstairsy bit. 
All right, no problem, Senna. Enjoy. I hope you enjoy your lunch, whatever you are getting. I probably should make an actual basic hut instead of doing what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a little area with a bed and stuff. I had the Undertale soundtrack stuck in my head, too. <laughs> Who brought the hoe out? It's me. I did it. You need to back off, my little dude. Thank you. Um, okay, I'm gonna chop down some trees and continue my building experience. Um, I have to get another cup of coffee today because I am just, my energy levels have been so low. Please don't, please don't break the tree. Please don't break another tree. It's already broken another tree and I took damage. Ouch. I too appear to have acquired a tree related problem. <laughs> Way, you little bastard. Has no puzzles with steam vents. Yeah, I might need that person to backseat me otherwise. <laughs> the thing that gets me most is the people who are like, oh yeah, you're definitely not gonna be able to do X, Y, or Z without hints. And then I did. And when the <laughs> graylings interrupt you pouring a new drink. Seriously though, I'm gonna cut this down. I don't want to break the one to my left because it will just roll down the tree, uh, the tree, the hill, and be a complete waste of wood. All right, let's go. The music's really good. <laughs> okay, so I need my doors. Here we go, and then my other doors. There we go. Sweet. Although temporary, like it could be temporary. I guess, until I decide to build that up. Nice. All right. Okay. I should build a little hut area at the back that I can sleep in uh, while I'm still building. So the middle, the very middle is going to be, I think a fireplace. I mean, the very, like here could be a fireplace. We need a chimney for it though. Uh, but right now I could build a little like enclosed space with a roof that functions as my bedroom and has my stuff in it. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll build the rest out later. So that and then a normal door. I've run out of wood again. <laughs> good Lord. Hi Azareth, good morning. How are you? Okay, let's go get some more wood. This is gonna be the rest of my day. All right. Um, I just wanna put a door on it and then we can give it a roof. Um, do you know what? That thing back there is probably not actually necessary anymore. What's the range on this one? Yeah, it's fine. I might destroy that for extra wood. All right, cool. Thank you, Fluffy. I appreciate it. I really enjoy doing this because I feel, I don't know. I just feel like it's a really nice, like fun way to do something cool with like a new update or whatever. All right, we don't really need floor. We just need a bed. Crappy bed, complete. Um, roof, uh, go away. You leave my chest alone or I will demolish you from the face of the earth. Might be a bit steep. Connect to the edge, please. Is he attacking? He Get out of my house. Be gone, child. Sorry. <laughs> Does the community kill any bosses since the restart? No, so we are going to be going back in. Um, we have to kill them again, but we have our stuff from our previous playthrough. So that was up to the third boss completed. We will have to do it again, but uh, yeah, so that's all. Um, oh, hey, look, upside downy ones. Sorry. Got a little bit excited about that. Um, let's do this. So it's fully enclosed. Eh. There you go. I have a little hut for me to sleep in. End up modding my Shep's hair through my playthrough and subconsciously turn Sky Shepherd into Psyche Shepherd as I should look at the end. LOL. I love it. I always give mine purple hair. What do you mean missing requirement? 
Is it the wood? It is the wood. Dang it. All right. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. Need to go save my save point. Unclaimed bed. Bed needs nearby fire. That's fine. I'm going to build it outside. Uh, I'll put the fire here. What do I need? I need two wood. I'm going to put the fire here. It'll get put out by the um, thingy, but that's okay. Hi! Look at Jay all kitted out and stuff. Put a house in your house? Mm hmm. I really like houses. <laughs> I just really, really like houses. What can I say? You're not here? Shh. Okay. <laughs> Would you believe it? I do. I always need wood. <laughs> Want a long-haired femme chef? So you did, and it was like, oh, purple hair, you end up weird purple to pink ombre unintentionally. Nice. That's the best style. I'm completely unbiased. All right, I'm going to put the, the fire here. And then I should be able to... S yeah, okay, so I can rest in there. Cool, it works. I, can I get up, though? Thank you. All right, so I have a fire, and I have a house. Need to figure out how to make a, a decent chimney, but for now, I think... If I put a roof over the fire like this, that will stop it from getting um, thingy. That will stop it from getting put out by uh, the rain or whatever. And then I just need to make a, a little cooking station. So I'm going to go get some more wood. No one's surprised that I need wood again. This is my house. This is the house for the fire. <laughs> I don't, so I, basically I'm going to turn this into a big A-frame house, but I needed somewhere where I could actually just sleep and not die. Or rather, when I respawn, I want to respawn here. So now I have this. It's not closed in though. I'm going to need to sort that out too, but that's okay. You got to, what was that? Did you see that? Did you see the weird red lines over here? That was odd. Hi, Aramar, how are you? We need to, we'll need to repopulate this place with um, more trees at some point. But we should have plenty of seeds by that stage. So we can do that. All right. Kind of want to see how everyone else's buildings are going. So I'm going to do a little sneaky tour. What's this? Oh yeah, this is the boar head I dropped. Um... So this is Gogs. Hello. Got like 25 seeds or so at the bridge. Nice. Brad's over here. What's Brad doing? Why do I feel like Brad's building like a pirate haven? All the way down at the tip. Hey. <laughs> Repopulate. I like it. Would you like me to come in as a resource gatherer? Hey, it's up to you. Um, I'm happy. I'm, I'm not looking for people to give me stuff, but you're welcome to come in and play if you want. Hi, Brad! Brad, you have got so much further than I have. What the heck is this nonsense? Are you kidding me right now? I just stood on your roof. You're welcome. It's so pretty. Anyway, I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm cold. It looks so nice, doesn't it? Uh, I'm gonna eat some stuff and I'm also gonna go and get a rested bonus because that would be a good idea. Not that I have any nice things up here, but I need to move my chest inside my house right now because it's currently sitting outside my house, which is just not safe. Brad did all the calculations. Hello, goodbye. Okay, so this bit here, my idea is to build this up into a giant A-frame with like the cool stuff and whatever, and then have multiple floors, but it's going to require a lot of crafting. I'd like to finish it today. <laughs> we want, I respect it. Um, did I get enough to make a, yes, I did. Cool. We can fit two on here and then I can cook some stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot you can turn these into coal very easily. I'll just wait. It's fine. You sit down, enjoy the fire, get a little bit of comfort, you know. 
You know how it is. Hey, Porque no los dos, right? Yep. No, Brad is very good at building. I am not. I have very limited patience sometimes. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. It's okay. I didn't set myself on fire, so I take that as a success. Hang on. I have run out of space in my inventory. There's a hedge. Alright, cool. I got cooked boar meat. Nice. How do I make boar jerky? I got a recipe for it, but I don't know how to do it. Let me see. Um, Maybe there's like a... Like a rack or something that I need, like a drying rack that I need to make. Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to get my rasted bonus from hanging out in here. And then I'm going to head out and do the things. Hi, Medic, by the way. How are you? Mm. That was a big stretch. <sighs> One second. I need to check something. So I am alt tabbed out for just a second, but it shouldn't matter. Um, um, let me I find it very concerning that the server thinks nobody is on it. I'm very concerned <laughs> that it says zero out of ten people are on it, when that is clearly not true. We're all ghosts. <laughs> so I'm wondering, how many of us are there? Is it F2? There are seven people. So it's currently a server for ten. Um, usually there's not more than like five people on at any one time, so I'm wondering if it's something that I need to... If it's okay being 10 or if it's something that I should look into increasing at some point. One moment. Do 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 do. All right. Oh, hold on. There we go. Cool. Uh, I got rested, so that's good. I'm going to go and get more wood. Should repair my stuff while I'm here. Actually, what I really need to do is I need to make more chests in here. So I'm going to make another chest in this corner. And use it to store anything I don't need to carry around with me. So amber, these things, these things, my bones, um, a stack of sausages. I'm going to put my serpent stew in here too. I'm gonna go cook a little bit more. There we go. <clears throat> I hear, I hear danger. All right, side. Oh, it's just one of those again. Don't attack my chest. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Leave. I love the way they like swing their arms. <laughs> All right, we got some more cooked meat. Sweet. <laughs> I see. Right. I want to move this away. Hold on. Over here so that I can actually see what the heck I am doing. Why do I... Wait, what? Didn't I just get... Oh, it didn't give me the resin back because I guess... Uh, it got used up as fuel? Maybe? So I guess I'm taking the resin back out. I'm building another one of these babies here. Why is it being awkward? Eh. That one's lower down, but at least I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So. We need to get started on building up. So I'm going to need lots and lots of wood. I'm going to leave uh, my nice axe here because I can't I can't use it I'm gonna leave my pickaxe here as well and I really don't need this much honey how much does it weigh a bit so I'm gonna leave 13 of it here and keep a stack of 10 on me and I'm gonna leave my leftover sausages as well 
and we're gonna we're gonna survive on this for now. That's the plan. Valheim is 16 US dollars this weekend, probably going for it. I definitely think it's worth it. It's like 20% off or something right now. Definitely think it's worth it. It is a fantastic little game. Um, they have a pipeline of a bunch of stuff that they're going to be releasing over the next, like, I don't know, probably year or so. It's very good. It's very fun. Um, and for that price, I don't think you can really argue with it. It's really great. There's lots of content. Uh, if you want to play on the community server, the rules are all in the Valheim, uh, channel. There's also, um... So there's also uh, like the server information and everything. Um, basically, the rules are kind of the same as on street, like normal stream rules. But also, please don't steal people's stuff. Please don't uh, attack other people's buildings. That's pretty much it. Um, no, come back. Um, don't progress on the server further than we've done on stream. So, for example, there are bosses that you can fight. Um, we had it so that you like people weren't to do the boss um, until we did it on stream just because that prevents people from uh, creating problems, shall we say. 225 hours in this game, pre-first update is definitely worth the $16. Yeah, I really like it. Um, so like if you, once you progress to a certain level with um, the bosses and stuff, it can, it can create problems for anyone who hasn't got that far. So we have it basically that you can't, you can't do any further than what we've already done. And that's pretty much it. So we are currently at, I mean, on our previous save, we were at the third, we we had done the third boss. So um, we will be doing all of the bosses again. We probably won't do them right away. So that'll give people the weekend. We'll be playing this again on Monday. Feel free to take the weekend to build stuff. And then on Monday, we'll do the bosses. As many of them as we can knock out, basically. Right, okay. Let's build some walls. <laughs> All right, no worries, everyone. Have a great day. See you later. Thank you for being here today. Okay, this is going to be a pain in the arse, isn't it? All right, how do you build windows? Did you say that there are actual windows? I don't see windows. All right. I can hear what? Uh oh! Uh, Ikthir has rallied the creatures of the forest on the village. <laughs> um, what on earth? Defend the village? Is it the boar? Oh my god, gogs! I'm coming! I'm sorry! <laughs> what on earth? Okay, you've got one here. Where are they? There's one. Come over here. Ya yeah, beastie. They're, they appear to be coming from this direction. Oh, a neck as well. Holy moly. Assholes. Come at me, boy. There's so many. You can eat another bite. Good thing I just killed a boar then. <laughs> Time for bunnies to swarm the living? Apparently. Are we still- apparently it's still going. I like the fact that this happens. I have a question. Does that happen until you kill the boss or what happened? I thought that it happened after you'd killed the boss. Evidently not. Hey, you. There we go. Nice. Okay. We did it. We protected the village. It's not really a village yet, but we protected it anyway. Um, the enemies in the raids are based on the next boss you have to kill. Oh, I thought it was the previous boss you killed. Okay. That makes sense. There we go. And you said they were called Shutter for the... Do you know what, what, um, what material do they require for the windows, Brad? 
Doing boss three raids makes it really bad for fresh players. That makes sense. Hello! Please feel free to use... Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> the noise of you repairing was terrifying! <laughs> Good times. <laughs> I was like, oh my god! Wooden bronze nails. Okay. Maybe I have to have picked up some bronze... Can I actually borrow your bronze nails just to get learn the recipe? I'll come to you. Because I think I, I haven't picked up any bronze nails yet, and that's why. I'm coming. What happened to Draggy? There are different types of attacks based on how far you've progressed. Yeah, I, I remember that, but I didn't know. I thought it was based on the previous one you'd killed, but yeah, that makes it really bad if you've killed. Yeah, okay. So I think some uh, certain frosty frozen creatures attacked our village after we did the third boss last time. <laughs> Amlo, might I please borrow your bronze nails if you have any? For just a sec. Uh, thank you. It did not do anything. <laughs> Draggy fell off an incomplete <laughs> bridge. Oh no. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Or maybe, wait, did you say, hang on. Did you say wood? Is it already in your thing? I don't think so. Look. Um. Oh, never mind. It is. I'm sorry. Ignore me. I came all the way here for nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm leaving in shame. It is a nice house, eh? Yeah, the new update was like yesterday. <laughs> Hello, neighbor. Might I borrow some nails? It's like the it's the Viking version of a cup of sugar, I guess. Like, hello, yes, I would like to have some nails. Thank you. All right. What I think we... This is ridiculous. What I think we might do... It's so beautiful right now. Is maybe have a... Like, we'll bring back Thor's Day for a while and have Community Thor's Day. I think that would be fun. And then, obviously, play Valheim anytime I want otherwise. But yeah. So it needs bronze nails. I do not have any, and I do not have the ability to make any right now. So it's a case of, oh, I need more wood for flip's sake. Hello, yes, I would like to pillage some nails. Thank you. I like these tree stumps. I wish you could like make them. And they looked exactly like that, you know. <clears throat> I just need to acquire some more wood. I'm trying to get as far away from everybody's working area as possible because I don't want to like, I don't want to drop a tree on anybody. I also really don't want to, um, I don't want to clear the whole place out. For flip sake, sir. Get the heck off me. Thank you. Bye bye tree. Oh, I may have created a disaster. I am very sorry for anyone that- Oh, yep. Sure did create a disaster! <laughs> um, I am sorry for anyone who is halfway down that hill. I am sorry. I am sorry. It's, uh, yeah. It's a thing. <laughs> Just created a domino effect of, uh... Straight up dropping trees on people. It's fine. Hi, Dargan. What's up? Hello, Lost. It is today, but Thor's Day would be on a Thursday. So I was thinking of bringing back Thursday Valheim days. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Um, I will actually... Hold on. Once I get back to my house, I will all tab out and make the Valheim voice channel for anyone who wants to hang out in it. I will not be in it during stream just yet. Maybe sometime. But for anyone who does want to, it's completely optional, but we'll make it. And then if you want to hang out, it'll be there. And yeah, we'll do that. I need some more honey. I also need to get my bees. I need to give them a home. I currently have many bees. I don't know where they are. I think I left them somewhere else. I'm such a disaster. <laughs> I'm such a disaster. It's okay. It wouldn't be me if there wasn't at least some kind of disaster happening at all times. Okay. Excuse me. I'm not convinced myself that Frigate Friday needs to be a thing in my home now. 
my <laughs> I approve. All right, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna sit on the floor and get my rest bonus while I make that Discord server. Hold on, Discord channel. I apologize. Um, do do do. All right. Um, let me just. I'm just gonna put it in the normal voice area. So hold on. Um. Voice channel, Valheim. Uh, what's this do? I'm gonna create it, and I think it should, in theory, work. You should be able to join it as long as you have the boopling rule, which is the only way that you can actually join voice channels. So I believe it should work. So if you want to use it, feel free. Please be considerate of one another. Um, I do not have enforced... Uh, I don't have enforced... I think I don't have enforced... Do that on. Um, push to talk. But please do me a favor and be considerate of one another. Because if, it, if it's bad, I will hit you all in the face. <laughs> Um, I don't know where you do that, actually. Hold on. Okay, I don't think- I don't think I have enforced push to talk on, but please be considerate. Don't be eating apples and stuff, for example, on the, the voice channel on open mic. That's just rude. I had somebody did that. They were eating an apple and I was like, Sir, all due respect, but could you not? Could you just maybe not eat an apple? on open mic while people are trying to discuss stuff. That would be really great. So yeah, I'm feeling, oops, I'm feeling maybe destroying this door and putting it higher up. But you find apples the most obnoxious. They are so obnoxious because they're so crunchy. They're so crunchy. Like that. What if I have a podcast about eating apples? Well, then you go record that in your own Discord. <laughs> so what I'm thinking here is we do like this kind of thing. Which way around do I want it to be? I kind of want it to be that way around. Like so. And then you can open it. And then I'll put um, a little, a little one of these here and a little one of those over here too and then it can go up and then we can oh can't get up this bloody hill if i fall into the moat i'm dead <laughs> that's just the way it is radios with a hot headset mic are not good Ugh, that's bad news so i'm thinking here and then we can have like an archway type thing with like a roof does that make sense? I feel like that would be pretty cool. But I need to actually build it. And I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that there for now. And then have this go up one more. It's gonna be a tall house. We're making a very tall house. Oops, I did that wrong. I hate when that happens, when it snaps like one way down. Crunching apples seems oddly specific. I had a person eating an apple on freaking voice with an open microphone. Cheeky little porch. We do like a cheeky little porch. Until I've built the floors up though, I'm gonna need to give myself a staircase because, <laughs> because otherwise I'm gonna get stuck having to walk or like jump through the hole. You heard me. You heard me. Snap on please, thank you. There we go. So temporarily, it'll be like this until I've built it up high enough. This, I'm feeling um, a smaller, like a little mini wall. Oh, the sun is very bright, but that's okay. All right, cool, like that, okay? Leap out your door. <laughs> yeah, just straight up. Wah! Hey, you, stop it. Behave yourself. 
beehive yourself. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Matsuri, how are you? Good morning. Right. Okay. I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about this so far. I do think this is still going to have to change a little bit. I don't know. Do we want to? I don't know. What do you think? Question. Do we think having this down into a hall with like a staircase going up is good? Or do we think having the floor be at this level and then have like a, a staircase down into a lower level down over there is better? What do we think? I'm trying to decide. Thank you, Livic. How are you? Oh no, Matori, that sucks. The ladder, you think? Mm. So floor level at the door and then down into like a lower level after? I think you might be right. I think you might be right. Okay, so that would mean... More historically accurate to be a second option. Okay. We'll go with... Let's get rid of this for now. We literally just built it, but... What we would do then is we would have the floor be like this. All right. And then, do you know what? I just did this. I'm going to do the ladder. That way I can just use one. We can go up here to build. Okay. Um, so I need floors. That's a wall. <laughs> Trying my best. What I'm thinking I might do as well. So I'll have stairs down there. And then I think I might have two staircases going up either side. From like here to go up to like a bedroom area. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. It will require some amount of effort to get it right. But I'm feeling it. No. So what happens is they basically you connect to the edge of each thing. Um, and then you can put beams for structural stability if you wish. Um, I'm going to move that, I think. I think it's time we got rid of that. I'm gonna build the, the workbench. Temporarily, oh well I suppose it needs roofed, it doesn't need floored, so. Floor is just a sideways wall. <laughs> You're not wrong, I guess. Right, so we'll put that there. And then um, put a roof over it just so it functions temporarily. And then I'm going to go ahead and repair some stuff. All right, let's go. Um, floor. Um, I do need, I do need like a, I run out of wood. I'm thinking I'll convert this bit at the back to like a big hearth. And I think that will be pretty cool. Although I don't think I have the materials for hearth yet. More wood! More wood is required. I improved my jump skill. Feeling pretty good about that. Um, yeah, I'm going to go a little bit further afield. Because I don't want to keep chopping down trees near people's houses. So for anyone who arrived late, the wizard marker there. I was going to suggest that's where we kind of build like a community area. Hello, Sina. Oh my goodness, you are making some fancy things. Where are the friendos? Did they scarper when the hard work started? No, we're all spread out. You can see in the top right, there's a mini map. Um, everyone's spread out building their own thing. I'm going down here because it's flat and I'm going to chop down some trees. Oh, this is a nice big tree. Check this out. We got a little, a little oak tree down here. All have individual tasks. They're currently building their own houses. And then we're going to build like the community thing in the middle. Um, and it's totally fine if people decide to move it elsewhere. I don't mind. Like if people want to build um, the community center further down the hill. That's fine too. I just want to have a little house. Um, it's funny. I watched other people building their houses in their village area. And <laughs> nearly all of them built like super clustered together. Whereas, like, we have all built super far apart intentionally, so we have room to expand and stuff. But it's so weird how different communities build differently. Um, I need to eat a berry. I just need that extra stamina. So I'm thinking today we'll have, like, the build stuff. 
And then on Monday, when we come back, we'll start knocking the bosses out. So please don't do any of the bosses over the weekend. Um, we will do those together uh, on Monday to clear them out. And then we can start prepping for the fourth boss. Communal but spacious. Yeah, exactly. You need a little bit of you need a little bit of personal space, right? Okay, how much wood have I got? I have 31. I'm definitely gonna need more than that. Really not liking the uh crappy <laughs> the incredibly crappy um thing, but the axe. I'm hoping that somebody will have the materials to build a forge so I can repair my other axe. I don't need it to be in my house, I just need to be able to repair it somewhere. And then I can always think about building those later. Right now I am just happy. You have one? Okay, perfect. Thank you. I will come and repair my axe at your house then. That way I can use it instead of this piece of trash. <laughs> Like, I could go back to my private save and get my mats from there, but I really want to. Do I really want to? Is that an upstanding floor? Is your house just happy to see me? Yes. Need to make some jam, too. Do do. Right. Almost home. Almost home. Isn't there an order run button? I feel like there was an order run button. I forget what it was. Right, I'm definitely switching out my uh, my axe. I need to move this inside. Q, thank you. I need to move this inside. Uh, I'll move all the stuff once I've got another chest for it. In fact, I can build that now. I think I probably do need stairs up on either side just in case you fall off. <laughs> or maybe I'm gonna put a railing there and say suck it up. All right, let's put another chest over here. Um, I don't know if y'all are into building streams or whatever. I hope you don't mind because here we are doing a little bit of building. And that's the vibe for today. We need to rebuild where we got to. I wonder what's the next update they're doing? I forget. You love watching buildings as you're terrible at it. I mean, me too. Hello? <laughs> Have you seen my build right now? I ran out of space. There we go. Sweet. Um, missing required crafting suit. Damn it. Can I? Ugh. But I just, I wanted to. No, don't make me not just able to destroy it. Because my crafting station's too. Fine. Fine. I am literally building a crafting station so that I can destroy this and then destroying the crafting station. So rude. Mist lands. Ooh, that's exciting. So yeah, we definitely need to get to the point where we're ready to take on mist lands on the server. That would be really good. Okay. Um, let me build a replacement chest. I wish I could build that without having to build a little floor above it, but alas. Uh, where's the shelf? Uh, it's not that, is it? It must be that. Bridge has safety railings. Excellent. <laughs> so no more falling off. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put my uh, nice armor in here that I'm keeping because I don't really need it. And I think it makes you slower, right? And thistles in there too. Okay, cool. Not looking forward to that one. The scenery has me concerned. Me too. I think I know what's going to be in it and I am worried. Just going to sit here and rest for a second. Get my rest to bonus up. Building streams are chill. They are. We should have a nice, uh, a nice vibe going for once, um, once we've got all this stuff together. Um, I really want to make the fancy bed, but this requires a lot more than I have. What's this? A sitting lo- Oh, <gasps> cool! Um, so I need four wolf pelts, seven deer hides, ten feathers, and some iron nails for that. So that's not going to happen today. That's fine. Markwood vibes. Hi, M9. How are you? You could eat another bite. Yes, I could. I could eat many other bites, in fact. All right, cool. Um, floor time. I have no wood. Are you serious? Did I really spend that much wood? I guess I must have. 
This is going to be my eternal life now, is just trying to... Oh yeah, I wanted to bring that down and repair it. What? Oh, that needs level two. Um, I need to make my bees. I need to make my bees. I am well, thank you for asking. I appreciate it. We are currently rebuilding our village. I'm just going to run down to Brad's to get my axe repaired so I can get rid of this flint piece of crap. Do you want us to use server level appropriate armor and weapons until we defeat bot? No, it's fine. You can use, as long as you don't go past where we got to before, which was uh, the third boss. As long as you don't go past that and start using ridiculous new stuff, that's fine. I know some people have wolf armor, that's okay. Um, I don't, my highest level is iron, but no, it's totally fine. As long as you're not using like anything past where we got to before, that's, that's fine. Because I feel like otherwise it would just be a little bit OP. And also a lot of people haven't seen any of that equipment yet. Hello. Hello. I have arrived. Your house is very pretty. Thank you. Repair. Yes. Thank you very much. I'm coming to Braddy's to repair my stuff. Uh, you need a wood fairy? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't say no to a wood fairy, but no, I'm going to go chop down some trees. It's going to be fine. I just, I don't want to chop down, like, Brad is, Brad looks like the hermit down at the bottom of the hill, you know? I don't want to chop down trees on top of him. That would suck. Actually, I kind of want to visit the bridge. See how the bridge is coming along. And then I could always chop trees over there and bring them back, you know? But yeah, I brought iron stuff with me and I brought my wishbone and my key. Uh... It makes perfect sense, Brad. Um, and I brought I brought my Megging Yord. I don't know if that's how you say that. I'm stuck on a rock. Lunch was good. Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh, look at this. This is amazing. Look how much progress has been made on this. And I have taken like the last two hours to build just my house. <laughs> this looks lovely. It's looking very nice. Well done, Silmar. I like it a lot. Very cool. Um, okay, I'm gonna chop down some trees over here. I'm very slow, Kukuchi, <laughs> because I never fill up on wood. So I go over with like two stacks of wood and then I'm done like super quickly. You've had help, excellent. That's what we like to hear. All right. Let me get some wood chopped on. Gosh, nighttime is really rough for stamina regen, hey? This is way quicker than using that crappy flint axe. Kinda need to pee. But I kinda wanna hold off until my coffee's ready. My coffee machine just came on like five minutes ago. It's reheating what I made this morning. I know there are uh, arguments about that. Get out of my face. You little shit. <laughs> um, okay. Got some wood. Nice. I'm really excited to be playing this again. I was just thinking the other day when I was clearing stuff off the server, we did so much together. And I was going to miss what we did, but I'm actually really excited to do this. Arguments over beverages? No way. So you see, I have a drip coffee machine, right? And it has like a keep warm setting. Um, I think it's I think it's a waste to only use it to make like one cup of coffee. So I make multiple cups of coffee and then when I'm ready to have my next cup, uh, I have it set on a timer to come on to reheat what was in the pot. Cause it has like a plate underneath it to reheat it. You tried the No Man's Sky Expeditions? Yes, it is very like a kind of house of cards type thing. That's the wrong term, actually. But yeah, there's a lot that needs to be done. So I have been doing... Hello! I've been doing a little bit of it. I will come back to it next week. I was going to do some more today, but then I forgot that the Valheim patch was yesterday. So that didn't happen. This bridge is so cool. I think I just stole your wood. I'm very sorry. Would you like it? <laughs> okay, you seem to be fine. <laughs> 
Health size keep one standing. I use it all the time. Why would I waste it? I'd love fresh coffee, but I'm not made of coffee beans and I drink cold brew too. All coffee, good coffee. So my main thing is it feels really wasteful for me to make one cup of coffee with my coffee pot or even two for tea and I when the pot is huge and it makes up to like 12 cups of coffee. So I usually make like four cups of coffee and then we both have a cup of coffee and then we have another cup of coffee later. And then I'll put a fresh pot on. So I put a fresh pot on just before stream started. And I'm going the wrong way. This is not where I live. <laughs> Didn't finish the first one, but I did the second one in like two and a half weeks. This new one's giving me constant headaches. It's really complicated. I do want to try an AeroPress. I found an AeroPress in a local like coffee place. So I kind of want to give it a try. We'll see. I feel like I would like it. I feel like I would like it. I need to put windows in. Oh, I just made that an absolute wonky wall. Oh, I've fallen into the moat and I'm never going to get out again. <laughs> Didn't want a moat. I'm not trying to build a moat. I have made an entirely wonky wall. There we go. I need to put some windows in. I know they're not the window shutters, but I need some windows. So I'll have to decide where I'm going to put those. There we go. Okay. Missing requirement. And I've run out of wood already! Ah! Wait, have I? Oh no, I haven't. Never mind. It's that I was too far away from my construction dude. Okay, that's fine. Hello, Violin. How are you? Oofed. A lot of coffee paraphernalia for a couple of weeks. Who only... Or for a couple of weeks? What? A couple who only one half drinks coffee. You <laughs> need to boss in a good teapot. Aeropress is good. Just don't try and use espresso grind in it or it won't plunge very well. Okay, gotcha. Two mugs. Yeah. Coffee pot makes only one cup of coffee, but your coffee, your cup holds 64 ounces. I do not know what that is in milliliters, but it sounds like a lot. I'm frustrated I had such a good and lucky start on my Stardew Valley game. Then on day five or six, the failure, I forgot to put the dog in my initial setting, so I ended up with the default cat. Oh no! That sucks. I'm sorry. I'm trying to summon the no procrastination energy. That is rough. That is rough. I feel that. Right, so I need to, I don't know where, um, this is very complicated. Now I have created uh, a dependency loop where if I just, I destroy anything, it's, it's ruined. Everything is ruined. So this is going to be very complicated, but it's okay. We can make it work. Friends, I believe in us. I believe in us. I think I'm going to put, oh, put this here. And then I think I'm going to do like a staircase here into, oh, don't collapse. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah, there we go. Like that. You see what I'm doing? Why did it sound like you were right outside my building? I was like, who's attacking my building? There's somebody chopping on trees. Cafetifitifitifitif. <laughs> yeah. Just under two liters. How the heck do you have a coffee cup that's two liters? This is a like 350 ml coffee cup, I think. My normal one is like a 500 ml coffee cup. Um, What I kind of want to do, so this space here, I don't really want to use it because it's so like low, but I might put a secret door right here and then walls. You got me? You got me? Right, hold on. Oh, this is going to be really janky. I want to put walls here. I might have to get rid of these stairs again for like the third time. Because I want to put the wall like that. And then put the stairs in front of it. There we go, like that. Secret door that everyone knows about. Yeah, shush. <laughs> be quiet. There we go. That works. That works. And then put like a door here. And then a normal wall on the other side, like so. And this can be like secret storage area. That looks wrong. I think that needs to be further back, doesn't it? Balls! <laughs> needs to be there. There we go, now it's flush. I forgot about that. Do you remember that one building I spent forever making and it ended up being slightly off? Your secret potion room in Halloween Town, it was really well hidden. Wait, you had a secret potion room? Okay, and then 
This is going to end up being a super tall building. <laughs> that's fine. Exactly, that's what <laughs> well hidden it was. Well done, you. All right, I kind of want this to be a window, so I'm going to put that there and then have like a half wall here. It's not a shutter window, so it is it is going to be slightly off, but that's okay. Do you know we have a big window? Big window. I'm gonna need to put like poles on either side, but for now, the music is so good. I love this music. That's where Brad made his strongest potions. I'm impressed, Brad. Well done on hiding a uh, potion room from us. Was it a potion storage room or a potion room where you made potions or both? <laughs> I I was so sad. I left my kegs behind. Yes. <laughs> I left my kegs behind because um, I had destroyed all the benches around it before I left. So that was disappointing. That doesn't work. It will work later, but right now I know. Okay. All right, so I'm getting there. Look at my house. My house is amazing. Give it a lick. I saw the freaking the shadows moving. It's where you kept all your rare stuff. I love it. How did you hide it? Like, I want to make a cool secret hidey room. I don't know how to make cool secret hidey rooms. I can show you how I made it later. Yes, please. That would be cool. That looks like it's slightly off. Is it slightly off? No, okay, it's not. Oh my gosh, imagine the splinters. Imagine them. Right, okay. So I think... I need to start thinking about building a roof now. But my problem is I kind of want to make a double floor here so that I can have like a bedroom that's further up. But I guess, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Everyone's voice is going to have a speakeasy, aren't they? Yup. Um... I don't know how I want the inside to look. I know how I want the outside to look and I'm I'm somewhat screwed because I need to flatten this in order to get the roof down low enough. But progress. We're making progress. Slowly but surely. Making a giant house. I'm gonna need more wood. So before I go, I'm gonna take a super short break and go and get myself some coffee. I have a lot more to do on this house and it is going to take so much effort. Good morning, Corey. How are you? Air and I do kind of want to make my bees before I go. Hang on. What do I need for a beehive? I think I just need wood and my bees. My bees. Um, yep. 10 wood and a queen bee per beehive. Okay. I'll wait. I really liked when you put yours on your roof, Red. Oh, no worries, Tig. I hope you feel better soon. There we go. I'm going to sit right here. Cool. Super sleepy. So six cups of coffee. Here I come. I need a cup of coffee right now because my coffee, I have like the dregs. I'm going to drink it now. Roof bees in the meta play. I did like that. They did seem to appreciate it. All right. I'm going to take a super short break. Marie Kondo sa space saving tips. You did an accidental deforestation. Oops. Did you knock down all the trees? <laughs> You're learning more from Duolingo than you do, so maybe it'll get better. Not drinking coffee so I can nap in a few hours so I can make it to the live letter. My big top napping tip is to drink a cup of coffee and then immediately have a 30 minute nap. It takes about 30 minutes for the caffeine to kick in. So when you wake up, you feel a lot more refreshed. Highly recommend. Ooh, nice, Oro. I kind of wanted to replace these with horns, but I can't find any that would be suitable. I have a pair that would be really cool, but the problem is uh, they are on a headband. 
uh, highly inspired by a streamer called uh, Dipped in Poison, who has that and then like wings in the back of her chair. It looks so cool. For me, it's Red Bull in 20 minutes. <laughs> nice. Sounds like dark magic. I swear it works. I used to do it in the mornings if I was really tired and tea had just gone to work. Just before stream, I'd take a drink of coffee, I got a full cup of coffee and then have a 30 minute nap. And it was awesome. Would tiefling horns work? Yeah, I guess they would. I had like big sweeping horns. They probably wouldn't fit. Um, oh, I also, oh, I wanted to show you this. This is super unrelated to what we're doing right now, but I got these, these in-ear monitors. They are super good, but unfortunately the cable is really short. Um, I got them for Sunday so that I don't wear my headphones over my wig because it's just too tight. Um, the the cable is super short, so I can't use it for a stream, but they're really good. Yes, Ezzy. Um, they're really good, uh, but the cable's too short. So I need to get a replacement cable um, and then I should be able to use those and I might switch to them. I don't know. We'll see. Because the, oh my God, the microphone monitor is awesome. Because right now I have the tiniest delay because I've got wireless headphones. They're really good. Ezzy, do you happen to have any recommendations for a longer cable? Um, Sundays I do the Elite Dangerous TTRPG at 7 p.m. BST, which is 2 p.m. Eastern. And uh, my wig is just too tight for my head if I'm wearing headphones on top. Thank you, Oro. All right, I'm going to be our B friends. Uh, get up and stretch your legs, your arms, your butt. Get a snack. Get a drink. Take your meds if you need to take your meds and you haven't taken them yet. Don't recall if it's longer. Okay. I did find a replacement cable, but it's the exact same length. <laughs> um, are they not like third party? Th there there might be. The problem is then if the, the quality of cable is lower, it might reduce the quality of the audio. So I'm not sure. It's a very cool cable, actually. It's like a braided copper wire type thing. Yes, it's streamed on Adventure Tavern. Actually, while I'm here, let me make a command for that. Wait, do I have... Hold on. Hey, there we go. There we go. All right, I need to be your bee. Um, I'm going to go uh, stretch my legs and I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. I'll be back in a second. Go stretch your legs, your arms, your butt. I'll see you soon. Wash you, wash your eyes and teeth. I'll see you soon. Be your bee. Oh, I need to put music on. Hold on. All right, here we
Y'all, I am back. All right. One moment, please. Okay. I just need to check something real quick. Nope, we have no not had Chair Senpai for a while because people gotta be creepy motherfuckers and uh, clip every time I stand up. Because hee 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 booba, which is just very sad. Um, all right, cool. I just need to check what my grocery delivery order was. All right, let's go. Let's hop back in the game and get going. All right, hello. I return with a fresh cup of coffee. Okay, uh, I need so much more wood. So much more wood. I have one wood. Amazing. Uh, okay, food please. And I'm going, I think I'm going to go back to the bridge. I'm going to actually mark the bridge, hold on. Um, I'm guessing it's here. So I'm going to go that way. Hello, Fisty, how are you? Oh, cool, we can actually like see it from here. That's pretty sweet. <coughs> Onwards to cut down some trees. This is so cool. Two wood for two wood? Why did I say wood like that? Yes, we have many friendos on the server today. We have, in fact, eight of ten. One day I may have to upgrade how many slots we have. I don't know. We'll see. I, it depends on how much we need it. Oh, look, some mushrooms. I'm gonna go get those mushrooms. Do, 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 do. Um, okay. Don't want to annoy the piggies. Hello, Trev! Wood will forever be known as wood. I don't know why I said it like that. It was really weird. <laughs> Watch out, Trent! Oh, I thought it was falling that direction. I was gonna be so upset. I was gonna be like, oops, I murdered someone. I done did a murder. If a tree falls and a Viking's rush in, does it make a sound? Yes. I think. I actually bought a dice tray from Wormwood Gaming on Etsy ages ago, so I've shopped there twice. Um, Wormwood sounds familiar. Ooh, the weird wobbliness off to one side is very strange. Please do not land upon me. Feel free to land on that thing, though. Bloody graylings. Can you switch to your sword, please? There we go. There we go. Are they sponsor or sponsored critical role? Okay, gotcha. I didn't watch Critical Role. One day, maybe. I just, I have this, I don't know. I get very overwhelmed with things to watch. <clears throat> Out of this particular critter's budget, fair. Part of me wondered if it was related to like the Warhammer 40K stuff, but maybe I'm thinking of something else. T used a store that did, oh, that did a bunch of like, um, what do you call it? Um, like models and things for miniatures that are like kind of lore friendly, but not, ow. Lore friendly, but not official stuff. The thing is, okay. You know, y'all know what Games Workshop is like. I feel like it's only a matter of time before people get freaking cease and desist letters about it, you know? I feel like it's only a matter of time because they are pretty weird about it. All right, where the heck? There it is. Um, My marker is not exactly on point, but it's not bad. Thank you for creating such a fantastic bridge. I'm very appreciative. Damn autocorrect. Yeah, you'd feel like soonish is so uh, in common use these days. Actually, I just realized something. Doesn't this give me... 
extra stamina or something? What does it give me? Oops. Does it tell me? I don't actually know. I thought it was extra stamina, but maybe not. Senna, I'm not looking at your building because I don't want to spoil it. Isn't it cool? Current big SE ones requires a US address. That sucks. Oh, it reduced stamina usage. Okay, I wasn't wrong then. It was stamina related. That's cool. World save in 30 seconds. Okay. Let's continue our ridiculous build. Do I... So this is two floors up, but if I'm going to make it... If I'm going to make it... Actually, that's a good point. I need to come with you to make... Uh, to repair my thing. If I'm going to make it another floor up, it's just going to be really tall. I'm not sure if my roof is ready for that. I guess I should probably start building the roof out and see. Resin lamps, which were very much out of your budget. Oh no! <laughs> That's bad times. Really need to stop looking at AirPod cases on Etsy and actually do some work. <laughs> Good morning, Bear! How are you? Hi, buddy! Hello! Hello! Oh. Hello, Booplings. Side of hug. Hi, Uranus! Thank you very much for the biddies. How are you today? Is there a homeowner's agreement for build guides? Um, don't encroach on other people's spaces, I guess? Hi, buddy. I sit with you. Um, don't encroach on other people's spaces and don't, uh, steal people's stuff. That's kind of it, really. Don't mess with other people's structures. Don't build things around communal structures so for example uh there's um an npc don't don't build don't don't build naughty things do you want me to close the doors or do you want me to leave them open don't block my view bitch <laughs> okay <laughs> Got it, Brad. What are the HOA fees in this community? Is there near a good school district? Yes. Dinner case survived my first driving lesson. Oh my gosh, Duranis, congrats. You have to tell me what your experience is like because I'd really like to learn to drive, but I'm scared. I'm really scared. Night of pure anxiety dreams. Oh no, Bear, I'm sorry. I'm low. Oh, really? So rude. Boggs isn't actually in there. I just walked past your house and said hi. You're not even there. And I don't know why I did it. Right, so I kind of want to build the roof now. I'm feeling maybe a platform. See, what I could do is I could make this like a, um, a hearth type area and then have stairs up either side to a bed that's kind of above it. Maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking that might work. In which case, it's time to start thinking about building a roof. Ah! Uh, I fell in the floor. I fell in the hole. Um, but I need... Oh, I put my pickaxe away. Dang it. Dang it! Does anxiety ever listen to anyone? Really? Born in a barn if you leave the door open? Yes, were you born in a field? Is here. <laughs> were you born in a field? Here's my pickaxe. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little bit of digging. Just a little bit of digging so that we have, um, I need some space around my house. Because it is currently not flat enough. And then I will be pretty happy. Everyone else is way more accomplished with their building than I am right now. <laughs> I haven't even managed to finish a house. This is ridiculous. <laughs> scary starting out. It was a bit camera as time went on. That's good to hear. Because I am terrified. But I, at the same time, I really want to do it. Oh, that really sucks, Bear. That really sucks. I'm sorry. My entire therapy focuses on learning to tell my anxiety to go fuck itself. I respect that. That was pretty much what I had for OCD. Was basically telling my OCD to go fuck itself. So that was fun. 
Um, managed half a hut and most of a fence before I had to sign out for work. Rude work. Imagine not letting you play Valheim. I promise I'm not going to dig into your base, Gogs. <laughs> I promise. I'm just trying to make myself uh, an area here that the 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 roof can come down. Thank you, Jeff. Of, 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 of. How are you? Hello. I just want to build so that, yeah, you know, you get me. I want to build down so that the roof can come down from there. It just requires a little bit of extra stuff. Uh-huh, I believe. I swear I'm not going to build into your space. <laughs> just want to be able to do a thing here. Right, so what I think is going to Ugh. I'm stuck in a hole. <laughs> I swear to God. There we go. That's better. What I'm thinking. Oh, for flip's sake. Can't be left alone long enough to build a house and I've fallen into the hole again! <laughs> Dang it. Hello, Solu! There's lots of new building stuff so far. Um, nothing else has changed about, like, the early experience. Um, so my idea was to take the, like, steep... Hold on, I need to be facing the right direction. Like that. Down to the edge like here I need you to connect to the floor I, I really need you to try harder game it's like nah oh my pickaxe is about to break y'all that's bad news for me good morning though Solu did that help is it better now yes it's better now so I was gonna do this and then build the the roof up from there I do keep falling into holes, it's true. I do. Someone told me that there was something new that I won't spoil, that if true, I'm going to lose a lot of time to this game. You can tell me. Privately, so other people don't see it. DM me on Discord. I'm curious. In charge of a number of tons of metal that moves when you tell it to, it's intimidating. Yeah, for sure. I think it's only natural to be a little bit intimidated. I'm also very intimidated by other drivers, do you know what I mean? Because, like, some drivers are... Mm. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build a ladder halfway up my house. Because otherwise I'm never going to be able to climb this roof. Is that actually here? I can't see. I can't tell if it's there. Yeah, it is. Okay. Just to allow me to climb up here. Like so. Okay, cool. Scent. Alright, hang on. Ooh! Huge if true. <laughs> Huge if true. <laughs> I always wondered. Okay. I'm intrigued, Sully. I want it to be true. I hope it is. If it is true, I'm happy. Okay, my grind is not low enough here, but that's okay. Because it doesn't... It doesn't really matter, right? So there, I'm just giving you an idea of what it's gonna look like. Now I just need to figure out what happens from the other side's perspective. You wanna know? Okay. If you want to know what the theory was, listen up. If you don't wanna know what it was, cover your ears and I will give you a countdown from three and then I'll give you a thumbs up when I'm done, okay? Three, two, one. Secret time. Mounts. Huge if true. <laughs> if they are actually here. Huge if true. <laughs> Alright, don't type it in chat. So nobody who, like people who don't want to see it, don't see it. Oh, heck. <laughs> right? Hello. What's up? Hi. Not much has changed. Well, hi. Um, food has changed a lot. Um, well, there are stamina foods and there are, you know the way there were always stamina foods and there were always health foods? They now show you which one's which without you having to hover over it. So they have like a little red fork for health and a yellow fork for, um, you also get a timer for how long 
um, is left on your food in the bottom left now. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, thumbs up. You don't... It's okay. I didn't thumbs up because T was talking to me and I didn't know if he was going to ask about the thing I just whispered into chat. Were you going to? Okay, well then. Okay. <laughs> so it's fine. It's all good. I didn't forget. I just didn't know if he was he maybe overheard and wanted to ask a question. He says no. He just came to say hi. There is coffee and it has just reheated. I don't know if it's a full cup though. I've had, it's all yours. Whatever's in there is all yours. Right, so I need another ladder here. There we go. Sorry, he slams that door. He, it's necessary to pull it really tight. Otherwise it doesn't close. But yeah. <laughs> See, this is going to end up being a really tall roof. <laughs> Dom! <laughs> yeah, that's just tea closing the kitchen door. Just saw something in patch notes that's interesting. DM me! Bear, I didn't see and he was already gone. I'm sorry. Um, He just sneezed. I don't know if you heard it, but he just sneezed super loudly in, <laughs> in the kitchen. All right, I think I'm going to need to start building some stuff. You heard that? Yeah, that's him sneezing. He has very violent sneezes. He sneezed in the kitchen. I need some torches. It's very dark in here. Solo, you're welcome to join us at any point on the server. Just let me know. Hello. Why won't you build there? Hello? There we go. Um. Hello. I'm Wood Fairy. He, he does like a full hachoo kind of noise. Uh, I should repair my stuff. Oh, apparently I only need to repair my hammer. Um, I was going to build some of these because otherwise we are going to have a, a slight, don't, don't fall off. I'm not done yet. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. That might help a little bit. So I, it was here. Was it three tall? Yeah, it really was. Jeez. Holy moly. Right, I'll wait for that one. <laughs> he just walked past going, holy moly. First row at you. Exactly. A dragonborn sneezer? He really is, though. Like, real talk. Um. Alright. Fiora, if you need to build a bed or something in my house until you've built a house you're welcome to by the way see this is that's not very strong considering it has a thing right next to it i must be just too high off the floor you left some wood in your bottom right oh thanks that's kind wait you were building the bridge weren't you all right see that up there is just it's getting a little bit a little bit concerning so i might do that that definitely didn't do anything. <laughs> is that not how you do that? I feel like it is and it's just not worked at all. I must just be too high off the floor at this point. No, I, I'm curious as to how the other side is going to work. So I'm going to get some wood from here and go and do the thing. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I missed your message. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, e. What's the progression going to be like for the server? So, um, anyone can bring anything from up to what we we got to on the server. So we got to level, we got, level, we got to the third boss. So some people have wool farmer. But most people are at iron or lower. I have my iron stuff with me. I just didn't bring it. Um, I have brought essential materials with me, but I didn't bring anything crazy. I think it is touching it, but I, I think that it's just too high. Um, thank you very much, Viora. Um, and then on Monday, we're going to do the first, second, and third boss. So that we're caught up to where we were. And then make progress on the fourth boss, I guess. I'm just going to slowly... Yeah, I definitely need to make... 
I definitely need to make some ladders here because this is just not going to happen. This is just not going to happen. Eh. Eh. I just, I really want to build my roof and then I'm happy. <laughs> you have tons of planes, Matt, so you should hold off. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of people who haven't got past, like, starting the mountains, I guess. Um, okay. I need to make another one of these. I'm probably going to have two characters as well. <laughs> To be honest. Right, is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? It might collapse, but we shall see. Can you stop being awkward, please? All right, there we go. Um, I need to eat all the things. Vikings in their natural habitat. Look, I'm getting somewhere now though, look. Um, so if I build this bad boy up to there, there we go. And then I build, was it this one? Looks like that one, doesn't it? Yeah. Up here. There we go. Maybe that one's slightly too low. I don't know. Eh, it doesn't seem to make a difference. <laughs> Osiris is eating the instructions for the cat shelves. That's pretty, uh, pretty standard fare, isn't it? <laughs> So my idea is that I'm going to build this giant just A-frame house. And it's going to look real nice. And my my thought process here is that, I don't know, do I build out again this way? Like one more? So that it's like here? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we'll build these. So I kind of want them to go all the way up to the top as like extra support too. Like that. And then have like the crisscross at the top. The music, right? I love it. Eh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Right, so, and then have like the crisscross at the top. But I still haven't, I don't know if it needs is it going to be one of these on either side or is it going to just be the cap? I don't know. I prefer a K-frame house, but it's a lot more complicated. Not technically, not physically possible. Can you imagine? Right, see, these are getting a bit, a bit rickety. This might be too much. We'll know in a second. Time to find out. Ooh, I think that's as far as it'll go. Okay, so that's, that's okay. We can make that happen. We just need to, eh. This is gonna be so difficult to build without like dying. <laughs> With the right materials, I mean, yes. That's a booty hole country right there, isn't it though? We're getting somewhere. What day are we on now? Uh, like as in server day? Oh, I don't know, like not very far. Someone else might've. Unless you can check it in the little thingy men menu. I don't think so, though. Nope. Apparently I have 80, 82 FPS. Yeah, okay, so that works. It it does the job. It's a little it's a little bit tricky, but it does the job. Can I get this to snap? Snap, please. Oh. I have to climb a ladder. It's okay. If it doesn't go splat when you build it, it shouldn't go splat ever. So that's, that's something at least. Can I get this to snap on there? There we go. Does that help at all? Hmm, I think we're getting to too high up territory. That's okay though. You ended up with two casts that like the taste of plastic. Actually, I should be doing the X. Oh, though it goes on top. Yeah, red is in this is just the bad end of good. <laughs> the bad end of good. Ugh. My cats love plastic. I don't even know. Both of them, both of them, all three of them lick plastic, especially Crash. He's ridiculous for it. It's, it's bad. 
Right, so I, I want this on top, but I, I need it to kind of like overlap. So hang on. It's very tricky, Missouri. Some of the builds are glitched, but I'm going to be honest with you, not all of them are. As much as I wish that were the case, not all of them are glitched. Please snap on correctly. Don't snap onto one side. I don't want to have to climb up the front of the building. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is going to take me forever. Hi, Gogs. <laughs> it's a very large thing. Yes, they sit on plastic bags. They lick plastic. They try to eat plastic. Zero used to love being inside bags. It was not good. It was not good. Right, let me try maybe a platform that I can climb onto that's higher up. I'm having a hard time with the building because it requires me being taller than I am, which is basically the story of my life. I am sad to say. No! You see what I mean? Oh, if you're quick enough. Yeah, okay. Whoa! Alright, maybe uh maybe one of these. To hold it up. Did that help? Yeah, it did. Alright, cool. Um, and then a ladder. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, this should be maybe tall enough? I just want to make the big axe at the top. But I want it to fit correctly. And currently, it is trying desperately to snap to the wrong piece. I suppose I could get rid of that. Oh, I don't know. The sun is blinding me. I love plastic carrier bags. As soon as the bag was empty, it would be full of cat. Yep. Yup. Oops. Well, there we go. I'm just putting this over here. Let's try that again. Um. See, I'm trying to... Oh, the sun is in my eyes! Maybe if I get rid of these, I can, like, snap that one on there. And then I can have a double. If you would snap, that would be great. Oh my god. This game snapping. I know you can do free building. I do not wish to. That is not the point. The point is it's just not allowing me to snap on. Maybe it can be on the top. Really can't though. There we go! Success! Ish. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Apparently I have reached the maximum capability of this building. <laughs> Great success. <laughs> Dang it. I tried. I mean, I'll figure it out. We can build more supports. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Um, see, you have to connect stuff to the floor. Different support structures have different values. So, for example, um, if you put, um, I think the iron stuff has like like really really good support, and like the core wood and all that. So I might need to get some of that because these boys here, I believe, are better. They require core wood. I have a little bit of core wood, so we could do that. And that would help in here, because I think they have better strength. The support system's a whole thing. Yeah, it's a whole different thing, completely. <laughs> Was it off by a single square? No, it fell by itself that time. So, like, maybe I can do... Hold on. Let me try and rebuild. But from here. See, these are also bigger. Um... Does that help? See, it still doesn't help there. Maybe it needs to be further in. Forgive me while I figure it out. Like, maybe it has to be here. Maybe it just has to be super tall. Does that help? That looks slightly less red than it did before. Doesn't it? I think it does. Yeah, that's slightly less red on that side. So I think that might be how we go about it. Which means, oh, building it here up to there. Where did this connect? Oh no, whoops. Here. Up to there. 
It's definitely slightly less red. Isn't it? I think it is. It does look nicer with the pillars by the side of the stairs, doesn't it? And then... Uh, hmm. Now how are we going to get the thingy on the roof? Stone is better than core wood for some things, etc. Yeah. Alright, let's try again. See if it works. What do we think? I don't think it will. I think this, see this bit here is really bad. Maybe I need to put some outside. Or like just inside the door. Like right here. And that'll help. Just for the very, very, <laughs> for very tall building that needs a little bit, it just needs a little bit of support. <laughs> it just needs a little bit of support is all. It's fine. It's just like me in real life. <laughs> See, it still looks really red to me. I think it is really red. Maybe it's because it's on the floor and not... Um, it's not technically touching the ground. We all just need a little bit of support sometimes, you know? So what if I go into our super secret room and connect it, holy moly, through the floor? Can I do that? Was it here? No, it's here. There. And also there. Maybe that will help. Did it help? Do you think it helped? It helped! Look, they're yellow now! That one's still red, so I think we have to put some here too. That's okay, we can do that. Snap better, please. Don't be ugly. It's be <laughs> That one works. This one does not. I don't know why. Maybe the door is in the way? I forgot you can't open doors while you're holding stuff. That's just weird. Okay, did that work? Did it help? Are we are we good? Oh <gasps> yeah, they're yellow now. Success! You've logged out of the server for a while, need food? Get some food, enjoy. Thank you for being here. Mom, I'm trying! It really is, it's trying. My patience is what's it, what it's doing. Can we please snap on correctly? You're gonna really be that... I just wanna put a little X thing on there. Not making sure the bottom pillar was blue rather than green? Gotcha. I just... There we go. I did it! And it stayed! Success! All right, cool. Cool. Now I just need to get the rest of the building done. This is fine. Dee -dee. No, don't snap onto the core. This is some stormy weather. Although, how nice is it? How absolutely lovely is this? Can I get you to, yep, do that. Nah. Level two workbench and level two forge. Ah! Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, you're over there. Okay, do I have my pickaxe? I do. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. I can't wait to repair my pickaxe. In before plummet. I will cry. Hello. Is it inside or outside? Is it this? No, that's a, that's a different thing, isn't it? Oh, it's inside. Thank you. There we go. Cool. Thank you very much. Repair is complete. Look at my skeleton of a building. Do I need to get dressed and head to game to get Steam credits so I can play this tonight? <laughs> you can totally build with us. So for anyone who is joining the server, um, the spawn point is here. You just need to head pretty much directly west. You will see a bridge you can use to cross to where the community village is. Just make sure to give people space to build and it's all good. Doo, doo, doo. There we go. I need to put like something on my building to, I don't know, signify, hey, look, it's my house. But yeah, as long as people have space to build, I am happy. Eh. 
What are your server rules? I will read them to you because they're on our, uh, hold on. They're in our Discord. Also, Brad, I'm going to read your message. I'm sorry, I missed it. Um, server rules are normal stream rules apply to both chat and signs, etc. Do not destroy other people's structures or steal or stuff. We have a village area to the west of the spawn point. That's still true. You'll have to sail. That's no longer true. You just need to use the bridge. But feel free to join us and build your own house as part of a village. Um, I'm using the server for streams. So while you can feel free to adventure on your, at your own pace, I intend to do each, each of the bosses on stream. Please don't kill bosses beyond what the, the ones that I've done on stream. I'll always hang their heads in the circle so you'll know which ones are done. Um, we have actually currently done uh, up to the third boss. Prefer if you don't bring new stuff past like that kind of level. Like don't bring plain stuff. By all means, you can bring uh, some might and stuff. Just don't overdo it, I guess. <gasps> Brad, I didn't know. I love it. I drank my coffee so quickly it actually kind of hurt. Oh, wow. My fire went out. I wonder if it went out because of the thing. Right. So we're getting there. I just need to put a little bit more roofing down. Um, I will eventually have to get rid of my uh, ladder right there. I, my plan is to have like, um, actually what I might do is I might put floor down, um, is to have like a thing right here that is completely like hearthy, you know what I mean? Osiris is a worse himbo than us, and that's, that's, that's saying a lot. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to maybe put a little bit of extra roof on the edge of this, maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe? I don't know, actually. Maybe it just needs lit. Nope. Yep, so it's definitely related to the rain, which means it is getting... Oh, no! Never mind. Okay, cool. So I can sit in here. Although I should get smoked out if I do that, so I'm going to sit in here instead. Just dry off. Hello, JJ! Good morning! It's good. How are you? Running anything up to the point you'd need to have killed boss four then? Yeah, that's fine. Because we were working on, like, potions and stuff for boss four. Um, did I smudge my makeup? I don't think so. Um, we were working on, like, potions and stuff for that. So we weren't, like, super far behind doing boss four. We just didn't do it. I did smudge my makeup a little bit. I'll fix it. <clears throat> but yeah, we... So we'd cleared boss three and we were working towards being able to venture into the next biome. Um, but anything beyond that would be too much. And then I'm asking that folks not kill the bosses till Monday. We'll do them on stream. And we'll work towards getting all three of them knocked out in one go. So that we can do boss four, maybe, the end of next week. Just a sign of war use. Exactly. I need to put some somewhere for my bees. Hold on. Excuse me. Right, I am just gonna get rained on. How much wood do I have left? So I have a stack and a bit. I should be able to get some more stuff done, but what I think I might do is I might start putting floor down. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this here just to seal this off temporarily, and then I'm gonna start putting floor down. I know it's going to get partially destroyed because of the rain, but we can repair that after. It's fine. I just wanna kinda see what we're working with. So I know like how much space I need. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the hearth uh, kind, oh, kind of like um, this space here and back a little bit. I like having a centralized kind of hearth. If that makes sense. Why can't I see what I'm doing? Okay, whatever. We'll have to fill that in later. Um, where's my hoe? <laughs> I need to get rid of all the dirt. There we go. That's better. See, now I can see what I'm doing a little bit better because there's just not dirt everywhere. I'm getting rid of that rustic look that we had going on before. So I think everything that is my house will be... Oh, actually, maybe not. I might expand back a little bit more. Right here. I knew you were going to say that. And I'm making you want to play Minecraft. I would actually really like to revisit Minecraft. I played Minecraft when it first came out, but I haven't played it since, really. 
Certainly not a lot, anyway. So I'm going to need a chimney here, basically. Everywhere that my house is, is going to be a chimney. So that's going to happen. I'm thinking I'll do what T and I did, which is to make like a crisscrossy pattern the whole way up the chimney. And, um, yeah. I'm going to sit in here. This storm? This storm is harsh. It's excessive. I need to dry. I understand Minecraft finally added a recipe book in game a while ago, so it might actually be playable without a wiki or chat. That would be helpful. So I think that's part of the problem as well, is there's so much to do. Alright. I just need to check something. Actually, I can do it on my phone. I don't need to do it on my other monitor. Do do do. I really need to turn off my uh, PayPal notifications. Um, because I had to install the app to do something the other day, and now my phone just keeps going like, hey, you paid a thing. You paid another thing. You paid another thing. And I'm like, great. Thanks. <laughs> blood of your. Yes, this is my Huel Blood of Your Fallen Enemies flavor. It's actually salted caramel. Who didn't. Who'd have thunk that the blood of your enemies would, would taste like salted caramel? I wonder if we can see Odin. Thor, not Odin. We, we've seen Odin. I wonder if we can see Thor. Sorry. I wonder if we can see Thor. We never did see Thor. I know someone else did. But I never got to see Thor. Maybe we're gonna go, yeah, do you know what? Back it, I'm gonna go look for Thor. <laughs> That's a quote. What, the salted caramel? Thor, show yourself to me. I'm definitely going to miss it. In Norse Purgatory, your enemy's blood is salted caramel? Yes. I'd have guessed tears of enemies would be the salted flavor. Sitting in a little hut and watching the storms while sat by a warm fire takes me back, right? You should watch Thor. It's a pretty good movie. All right, all right. Just stare at the sun for a few minutes, then it'll be Thor wherever you look. <laughs> Is that all of our smoke? That's my smoke. Never mind. It's just me polluting the atmosphere. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm, I am definitely going to fall down this hill at some point in my life, aren't I? That is 100% going to happen. I think I need to extend this back ever so slightly. Unfortunately. That's okay. I'm causing global warming. Yeah, Thor 2 could be skipped. Ragnarok, though. Psyche missions. <laughs> Alright, we didn't see Thor. I can just sit here and I'm sheltered. Ish. Can we get some hype for Fat Thor? Oh my god, yes! Fat Thor looks great. I'm very excited that they decided to do something a little bit different. Oh, the storm's clearing. No Thor for me. Hello, Bishimoto. Good morning. How are you? Okay. Um, what I'm hearing is that we need a childproof fence on that cliff. I think we do. <laughs> Thor Ragnarok is fan service with good plot. I approve. It very much is. Do I have any meat I can cook? Yes, I do. <laughs> that Thor could crush me and I'm so into it. Hell yeah. He looks great. He looks really, really great. Can I have... Oh, I just got a little disconnect the icon. But it seems to have come back. So it's all good. Oh, nope. I'm getting another one. Is anyone else getting that? Is it just me? Because that's concerning. Slightly. Seems to have gone away again. So I don't know. Um, all right, so if I'm going to extend that back a little bit, you got it as well. Maybe the server was just having a little bit of a hiccup. I suppose it's also worth noting that there's probably a lot of people playing and my server maybe was it, like because where it's hosted. Maybe there's other people are playing on their servers as well. So I want to extend this backwards a little bit, but I'm going to need another workbench. So I'm going to put a little workbench right about here. <clears throat> and then extend this back a little bit more. 
Brad, are you? Where did you go? Freddy. Was that a dead bird? Okay. I thought Brad was maybe building a fence so I don't fall to my doom. But then I realized Brad would probably find it entertaining if I fell to my doom, so. I need this to snap. There we go. Let's world save. I misread that entirely. I was really worried I just set my house on fire, y'all. You ran down the cliff. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get any more wood. How have I already spent all that wood? That's ridiculous. Ishimoto, I disagree. I I think. I think big dudes look great all the time. Uh, where's the bridge? It's this way. I like this foundationing that you're doing. That's smart. It's far smarter than me. <laughs> if this is what happens before Kiki arrives, you really need a safety fence. <laughs> I mean, I think you underestimate my ability to fall off cliffs. I'm impressed that I wasn't the first person to do it. Let's just say. I definitely expected to be the first person to fall off the cliff. The amount of times I've run out and gone, ooh. I am planning, by the way, friends, during October, because it's spooky, to do some solo uh, phasmophobia runs, because as much as I love the Halloweenies and think that they are the vast majority of the entertainment, see, we're on day seven. Um real talk I think I will scare the crap out of myself dad bod is just straight for bear <laughs> my mom learned what uh what a bear was um she had no idea um my parents made friends with a gay couple that go to the beach to walk their dog and they taught her what a bear was. Did you show your mum pictures of me? I clearly should have. <laughs> and I just thought that was very funny. <laughs> because she was like, did you know? And I was like, mother, please think about who you're talking to. Your mum has never lied eyes on my gorgeous figure. I think she has seen at least your face, JJ, because she knows who you are. Because I've mentioned my friend JJ before. And she's like, is that John John on Twitter? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Sir, I am busy. Thank you. Your mom knows who I am. Wow, I'm famous. Yes. My mom, my mom tried desperately to get me to join our raid channel while we were raiding because I was unavailable. Um, so I was at my mum's house and she really wanted me to join our raid channel and I was like, I don't know if my mum's ready to hear some of my friends speak. <laughs> so, yeah, my mum knows my- No, Brad! <laughs> Brad, can you imagine Narsh, okay? <laughs> can you imagine Narsh talking to my mother? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. JJ, I would trust. JJ was not in my red group. JJ, I would trust. Brad, I would trust. Narsh, I'm not so sure. <laughs> That's why you should have. No. <laughs> I love this staircase. I'm sure everything would be fine. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Do you want to set up a video call with me and your mom? No! <laughs> I need to look at my higgledy-piggledy ruined walls. Because I don't have a roof yet. But I'm busy. I've got things to do. I've got buildings to happen. To make. I can speak. I think this should be far enough. Actually, do you know what? Even two extra would have been enough, but whatever. We're, we're, we're in it now, so... Everyone else is going to be finished with their builds and I'm going to be out here like, you know, 
Annoy, I have half of my roof done. Oh, for fuck's sake. Congratulations, me. I made it. <laughs> right, so that's going to be where I build the rest of it. I'm going to leave that there for now. Okay, let's continue the roof for now. Um, I'm going to get rid of my uh, fire, I think. <clears throat> let's get rid of those walls as well. These chests are fine where they are for now. I do have streamer distractions, it's true. It's true. I'm impressed that people have not intentionally tried to uh, distract me with something wild and weird today. Their chest high walls. You know, being finished with the build, there's always improvements to do. That is very true. Um, I feel like this is wrong. Um, and I don't, I, I, I don't like it. So I'm going to put that there. Look at me improving stuff and I haven't even finished it yet. See, that's not right either. <laughs> like these windows are too square. Whatever. Maybe I shouldn't chop trees and hillsides. Did it roll all the way down? <laughs> I do love hugs. Connor, thank you for the hugs for chat. How are you doing? Look at these. They look like they're about to fall over. The scariest part of this is having to actually commit to where I want these shelves to be. Yes, we really want to do uh, cat shelves, but we have to commit to where they, they're going to be as well. And the other thing is uh, we have so much stuff that needs to be done on the house and I don't know how I'm going to do it all. And I'm very overwhelmed. Like we need to, we're, we're planning on taking some time in the next couple of weeks to rip up the carpet in our living room because I am sick of having to scrape Az's hair off the carpet. I cannot. <laughs> it is too much. Um, and also I just, I want to make sure because Crowley has peed on the carpet again the other day after not doing it for a very long time he's fine at this point it's literally just because he likes the carpet apparently so apparently the easiest way to get him to stop is to get rid of the carpet it's the only place that he goes that has carpet so i think we're just gonna have to get rid of it and that's just the way it is which is fine but i have to rip it up maybe you should start shaving your ass i do you know what you joke but sometimes i think about it Right, so here, look at my haul. This is getting pretty nice, hey? Hi, Rob, how are you? This is getting pretty nice. Much better for robot vacuum, yep, definitely. And I could just sweep the cat hair as well, which is a lot easier. And then if he does happen to, mis he, he doesn't pee on the wooden floor, but if he does ever do that, it's so much easier to clean than having to scrub my carpet clean. You know what I mean? So, hello. Are you hungry? Hi. Hi, giant fluffy sassy boy. Hmm. So I don't know if you've seen my wooden floors, right? Because they've been visible in the background. Um, also, yes, easier to find. Very true. You're tired of this peeing on the floor and you have tiles. That sucks. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, he just has a really bad habit of peeing on... Um, on the carpet and i think he does it for attention that's the worst part i think it actually is becoming a an attention seeking behavior because he does it when we're sitting next to him if we haven't fed him yet so like at night time right before right before uh thingy he just pees on the floor <laughs> i mean it's the first time he's done it in a long time um and like he got tested by the vet and everything and they said they weren't sure, but they thought he might have had um, a UTI, but it, like he's been treated for it now. And just occasionally he goes, yes, I think I will pee right here. He climbed onto his carrier right next to me, made solid eye contact and peed on it. Have <laughs> we tried pee? So Az doesn't actually do it. Um, Az will pee wherever Curly does, as long as it's a litter box. <laughs> Like he's trying to overwrite his scent or whatever. But Crowley, he's just weird. 
yesterday it was like, yeah, it's food time. Asserting dominance. And he's the biggest softy, so I don't get it. <laughs> right, okay. So I'm feeling like this is this is this is getting to where we want it to be. Though I do think we are gonna need to start putting these babies down. Um so for Noi, let's put the rest of the roof down. And then I will need is core wood oak? It's oak, right? Do, 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 do. I'm gonna keep doing this. I think at about like maybe a few down I will need to start it's pine, gotcha. What's oak then? Is it is it something special? Black forest trees, perfect. I'm gonna need to go get some of that. Put me down with you. You're saying it's T's fault, yes. Always. Right, that's looking okay. So I am gonna fill that space in, but oak and birch are both fine wood. Okay, gotcha. I don't know why I thought oak was different. Do, 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 do. Hello? Oh, there it is. Trying to even this out as much as possible. Oh, we've run out of wood. Okay. To the wood factory, aka uh, forest. <laughs> I don't know why I called it a wood factory. <laughs> Always blame T. Unless you're blaming Soli, in which case blame Soli. Silmar, I straight up thought that your cloak was a sheep. And I thought there was a sheep in your garden. That I could not figure out why. All right. <laughs> you can't convince me Professor Oak wasn't Netflix and Chilling Ash's mom. You just can't. <laughs> Oak is the professor. Yes, that is true. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go chop down some trees. I think I'll go via the bridge again. I have made a giant monstrosity of a building. And I'm not even sorry. Hello everyone. I was also Netflix, Netflix and chilling Professor Oak. <laughs> I love how Professor Oak was supposed to be talking about like his grandchild and didn't know what his grandchild's name was. <laughs> he was like, what was his name again? Yeah, that one. That annoying little bastard. All right, let's eat a little bit more of the norms. And I'm heading out to go chop down some cheese. Professor Oak was laying trunk. No! His grandchild was completely forgettable. <laughs> Draco Malfoy looking motherfucker. Didn't he have like dark hair though? Wasn't Draco Malfoy blonde? I don't know. I don't know anything about Harry Potter. I literally know Har Harry Potter was a wizard. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I know some names. Gary might as well be in Jerry and on season piece of chicken. Yeah, you right. Did you see that stump fly off into the distance? <laughs> All right, get back, come back here. Oh, well, my stamina is really low. So I'm just gonna follow this really slowly. Yeet. <laughs> I was like Papyrus yesterday yeeting himself through a window. Oak thinks your name is Red until you tell him otherwise. So I think he's just not a good memory for names. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Ooh, excuse me. I like how I have sneaky as a trait. That seems untrue, considering I'm going around chopping trees down. Probably, probably got that freaking grayling just scared the crap out of me. Maybe Oak is a punk just like his grandson? Maybe! Ooh, I like that theory. I like that theory a lot. This is what I, I enjoyed in the forest. I would have been happy if it wasn't for the monstrosities. I never played the forest beyond the beginning and I would like to go back and play it more. I learned there were monstrosities purely because I saw somebody... So I remember them attacking my camp but they weren't like particularly scary and then I saw somebody streaming it going down to the bottom of like a cave or something. And at the bottom of the cave, there was this like terrifying creature. 
rotten piece of unseasoned chicken. You are right. Speaking of rotten, rotten pieces of unseasoned chicken, does anyone have a really good, preferably UK based or Ar Ireland, Ar 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 Ireland, Ireland based um, alternative to Lush for like bath bombs and stuff? Because I would like to get me some fancy bath bombs, but a lot of the places you can buy them are cat crap. Caves are very yikes in the forest. I've heard that. Look on Etsy. That's actually not a bad idea. I know there's like a gothy bath bomb place that does them. Um, and I would be, I would consider doing, like buying some from them. And I think they're Irish. Or maybe, no, I think they're Irish. Um, but I don't know, I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> no, I don't want an unseasoned piece of chicken sent a bath bomb. I'm referring to uh, Lush being an unseasoned piece of chicken. Does the body shop, actually, yeah, the body shop might be a, an option. I think it does still exist. Do they do bath bombs? It's a real shame because Lush's bath bombs are amazing, but apparently they donated money to a turf charity so they can go get fucked. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Coffee time hells, yes. Someone sent her a stock cube. No, I don't want to have chicken stock cubes in my bath. That sounds like a horrible idea. My building is looking very extreme right now, but it will, it'll get there. We'll get there. It's fine. I do need some core wood though, so I might actually leave myself some wood in a chest and go on an adventure to get some core wood. They still exist and they do bath bombs, sweet. I might have a look into that then. This chest in the floor is hilarious. All right, I'm gonna leave those there. Uh, I'm also gonna leave my stone here. Had the US Lush respond to a tweet of mine saying they do not support the actions of UK Lush. God damn it. I mean, I'm glad they don't, but at the same time, why you gotta do us like this? It has an MLM branch. I got, I got somebody who sent me a message on um, Instagram the other day with the most bizarre, like, I can tell you how to make all of the money and it's definitely, totally not an MLM, 100%. Why would you think that kind of thing? Um, Lush UK apparently donated to a turf charity, Shannon, which is really shitty. So I don't want to buy their, like I buy, I used to buy their products all the time and I don't want to do that anymore. I know, right? In case anyone missed it, there's an unofficial community goal up at Elite involving Salvation, the Thargoids and the Corn Star system rewards our system permit and modded size two Goss cannons. I put a link, interesting Aranis, thank you. Why can't we have nice things? Why can't we have nice things? It's just shitty. Um, let me see. I do have mushrooms. Mushrooms are considered a neutral food by the looks of things. A mlem, <laughs> a mlem would be much cuter. Yeah, a mlem would be much cuter. Uh, it's a real kick in the teeth to our local Lush are big supporters of the whole. Oh, that really sucks. That really sucks. And it's actually true. The one in Belfast is actually, um, I think, fairly closely tied to like the local LGBTQIA plus community. So it really sucks. Um, but yeah, I got contacted by... Uh, I, I got contacted by... Uh, oh, I think I'm having a disconnect issue. By a lady who was like, I'm sure you get this all the time. But would you like, would you like to join my uh, company where we totally make loads of money and it's definitely not an MLM? And I was like, it's definitely an MLM. I'm very bad at saying no to things. Uh oh. Oh no, did the server go down? I hope it saved recently, otherwise I'm gonna be very upset. Hold on. Or did I just get kicked? You just got disconnected too. Uh, an MLM, a multi-level multi marketing. You know, like a pyramid scheme? It says it's still running. Oh, it's restarting now. Yeah, I think the server went down. Rut row. I hope it saved. I really hope it saved. Do, 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 do. I'll let you know whenever it's confirmed to be restarted. When someone feels the 
the need to say it's not an MLM, it is, yeah. Man loving man, I mean, hey, that's a much more enjoyable MLM. If you have to say, yeah, it's not a pyramid, it's more like a triangle. It's those like multi-level marketing schemes where the person at the top always benefits and everyone below them benefits less and less and less until you get to the bottom. But that you have to like, to make any money, you have to buy product. I don't define as gay, I define as MLM. It's still restarting. But yeah, so uh, let me see if I can read the message to you, hold on. Hex bomb, ooh, that sounds great. Let me, let me see if I can find the message. It says, let me read it to you. Um, hey lovely, I hope you're well. I'm sure you'll, you'll have loads of these similar type messages, but I really wanted to reach out to you as I've been running my own social marketing business for over a year and a half now, and it's enabled me to grow myself alongside growing an online business slash residual income while helping others to do the same. After coming across your profile, I can see that we have very similar interests, and I think you could be fab at what I do, and you seem like the sort of person I'd love to work with. It may or may not be for you, but it'd be great for you to hear about it. I was so skeptical, of course, when I first heard about it, but I'm so glad I took a real look because it turned out to be so much more than what I had ever imagined. Are you open to taking a look? If so, I'd love to share more. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, no. Hey, lovely me. Eat shit. <laughs> I was like, no, thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> Isn't there something like you could only get down about 15 levels until you run into all humans in the entire world? Probably. According to this, the server's still starting. I'm worried that their servers have maybe gone down. Yeah, no, hard pass. Yeah, no, absolutely not. You and one million of their closest friends. <laughs> Hi, Eros, how are you? That's how I'm gonna get you in on my MLM. I'm gonna send you a nasty message and be like, you in? And I'll be like, yes. X-Bomb even have a purple nightmares expl- Oh my god, I'm looking it up. Hold on. Oh my gosh, yes! Uh, gothic beauty for dark heart- This is the one! That's- I recognize the picture! It was called Hex-Bomb! I recognize the picture of the lady with the green face and the moon on her forehead. <gasps> Halloween collection! Yes! This is the one! Oh my god, they do a witch's brew cold water bottle and it's covered in ghosts and skeletons. And they have candles. And they have a blood bag shower gel. I love it. Thank you for finding that. I couldn't remember what it was called. I hadn't done any Googling to be fair, but I love it. Oh, I'm going to buy so much stuff here. <laughs> okay, it says it's online now. I try. Uh, I have to enter the IP again. Oh, whoops. Yeah, that's the one. You're telling T. That's okay. It's my money, bitch. That's not That's not where you put the password. <laughs> she just goes from one internet hole to the other. Just scams that are technically legal. Yeah. It's very silly. Oh, no. Okay. Failed to connect. Did the, pa did the thing change? No. Okay. It's still the same. Is that the same? Yeah, it's the same. I'll give it a sec and see if we can get back on. There we go. It's working. Hex <laughs> bomb, hex bomb. Incompatible version. Oh, there must have been an update or something. What the heck? <laughs> Was there an update? There's an update. Everybody update your Valheim. I'm gonna take a super short break to go and fix my face because I smudged this. I know it's fine, but I, I smudged it. So I'm gonna BRB. I will leave you with some music and then we will jump straight back into Valheim as soon as the update. I think it's finished already, but there's an update. Update your Valheim. Do do an update. All right, I'll see you back here in a second. Go stretch your legs and your arms and your butt. Get a snack, get a drink, and I'll see you back here in a second. It was in the last like year or two, Dark Smack. BRB! Why do I always go AFK when the songs are changing? Every time. Every time. Unbelievable.
I just scared the cat. All right. BRB. Hello, I am back. Hello, I am back. Did the music stop again? Purple Cat is the name of this band. Okay. I'm back. I'm ready to try again. One second. Hello. I just need to mute my alerts for just a second because the audio device, it always forgets the audio device when it first starts. So I need to do this. By the way, I just found Crowley. Um, it'll pop up by the way in a second. I just found Crowley sleeping next to the place where he peed. <laughs> so I'm wondering, <laughs> I'm wondering if he was marking his territory. <laughs> You're back in too? Sweet. I'm logging in now. You need some Friday? No, I'm just gonna go raid the store. Nice. Excellent idea. Kittens are now going to have their snacks. Gotta protect that pee spot, mm-hmm. Like, I'm wondering if that was intentional. Why am I halfway down this hill? How much wood do I have? None! Rubbish. I was getting wood, wasn't I? <clears throat> oh, he's been to the vet, Bishimoto, he's fine. He has not st suddenly started marking outside the box. Uh, he ever since he's come here. He's a very anxious cat. Um, he has peed in weird places. Um, he had a, they said he might have had uh, a potential UTI in the past, but he got treated for it and then it went away. Um, he does not seem to like peeing in his litter box at all. I don't know why. He's very anxious though. Um, we have lots of fellaway plugins and stuff. You know, the, the like cat, um, pheromone plugins and uh, they do help but he does still seem anxious he's got another vet appointment coming up like a regular checkup soon so i'm gonna ask them if uh if they can just check him out double check that he's still fine and recommend if there's anything else we can do oh that sucks bishimona no way 
See, we have this thing where he will pee on a pee, like a puppy pee pad. Uh, <laughs> he'll pee on a puppy pee pad um, in a litter box, but he won't pee on like litter. Um, so he started, we, we gave him a special litter box that was his litter box and he will pee on the puppy pee pad. But now Az is like, oh, it must be a toilet. So he also uses the puppy pee pad sometimes. <laughs> Luckily, the other two don't pee on like anything weird. It's just, it's just curly. Bro, there's two cats and he's about to move house. He moved some stuff to the new house, went back to his current house and both cats hissed at him. They know. They know the smells are weird too. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> Crash hissed at T yesterday. It was so weird. So uh, Crash jumped onto T's back while T was standing talking to me and then leapt onto the top of the door. He was then standing on top of the door. And while he was standing on top of the door... Um, he started trying to come back down again. So T put his arm up and Crash stood half on his arm and half on the door. And then just randomly hissed. So T was like, okay, I guess you don't want me to touch you. And tried to move his hand away and Crash went... <laughs> and then climbed down his arm. And I was like, what the hell's going on? Getting hissed at by a crack. It's so bad. It feels so bad. I think he was just... Apparently cats hiss to swear. It's like the equivalent of swearing. Does sound like a curly thing to do. Living up to his namesake. Yep. Got hissed at and bitten by Cookie once. Crash bit me in the face once. I think he was also very surprised he did it. Because he... So he he came to me and jumped into my arms. So I was holding him. And then he randomly just turned around. Made a funny noise. And before I could put him down, he bit me in the face. <laughs> and then he went... Like, did I do that? <laughs> I dare T not know exactly what Crash needs at that time. I know. I was like, honestly, you should know better. <laughs> Learn to mead ri mead rhymes? Read minds. Wow. Apparently my brain just did a bork. Has the angle of your camera changed or my eyes not working today? Uh, it might have adjusted slightly to one side. But that will have been a cat that has caused that. <laughs> I don't really check the preview of my camera unless something's wrong. I rarely see it. But yeah, the cats can swivel it a little bit. But like the uppy downy, it shouldn't be much different. Right, I brought some wood. Time to build. Now how far did I get before it decided to break? Slightly to the left of center. That sounds like, like, okay, no, I was going to make a joke about me being not straight, but that doesn't really work and just sounds like I'm making a political statement. <laughs> um... All right. I was trying to make like a buy joke, but then I realized that if I said that, it was going to make it sound like I was making a statement about my political affiliation. Whoops. I did not mean to destroy that wall. That was an accident. That was an accident. Yep. They made some executive decisions. They did. Oh, for feck's sake. I keep forgetting that it's not middle voice to do that. Oh my God. I am just a disaster. I am an absolute disaster today. Right, well, we're nearly done with the building, so that's good. These chests, I need to sort them out. They are in the wrong place. Disaster left by <laughs> strikes again. Uh, I need to get rid of these. There we go. Nailed it. And then it's all roof from here on out. Uh, well, and a little bit of floor. But then we're nearly done. And then I just need to make a chimney. And I need to figure out how to make said chimney. So this is going to be fun. Excuse me. No, I mean, I'm nearly done with this building. <laughs> I know, if it had been off by half a panel, Fluffy, I would have cried. <laughs> I recently got a nine month old cat slash kitten and he hissed at me at random until I realized he must have been hit. Oh no, that sucks. Yeah, we were worried actually that like, um, so Crowley doesn't seem to trust me and he's nervous around my mum and my sister. And I was wondering if maybe he's had a bad experience with women in the past. Cause you know, like dogs and cats can be like that. Um, and um, like Az loves everybody. Crowley seems to not really trust me. And I'm trying very slowly to, like, work up his trust for me because, like, I don't want him to be sad. I know that um, his his previous home had 
some stressors, which is probably why he's so anxious. Um, the person who had him before also, I know, had a daughter. And I'm wondering if the young daughter was maybe a bit rough with him or something and he just doesn't trust women. I'm not sure. Either way, he does seem nervous around me. Which makes me sad. I just want him to love me. He loves tea so much more than me. It's ridiculous. Crash is a mommy's boy. But Crowley... Crowley's just like, nah. Az is a lover, though. Az loves everybody. He's a bit nervous because obviously we haven't been able to socialize them as well as we would have um, if we hadn't been in the middle of a pandemic. But yeah. Negative experiences of bald under bearded men and another dog re essentially got kicked out because they had a child and he was a nightmare when my first nephew was born. No harm, just pen in the arse. Yeah. I So Crowley just, I think he's very anxious. He also does not seem to trust me all that much. Like he's very nervous around me. The worst part is he does that thing. You know that, um, like, he'll he'll move and I'm, I just happen to be walking the same direction as him and he gets upset because I'm following him even though I'm not. <laughs> And then he'll run into my room and I'll go in and he's like, no, she's following me. It's just like in Phasmophobia. Oh, that looks, that looks like it might be off by one. I might have done the roof wrong. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, I'm going to need more core wood. So I finished the walls there. I'm going to finish the back walls, I think. And then I'll come back and do the roof when I've got some core wood to make some supports. Why are you following him from the front, though? <laughs> I clearly should try harder. Seen a video in the past where the cat hisses at the woman and swats at her, but when she put on a fake beard, the cat trusted and cuddled with her because her partner has a beard. Ooh, I mean, I don't know about wearing a bald cap. <laughs> because that, yeah. <laughs> My roommate's dog is such a finick finicky loyalty. He is the most loyal to whoever he was left in the apartment with last. That's funny. Once had a dog that as a young puppy was chased by a child and that dog was never right around children again. It's yeah, it's weird. So like Crowley Crowley's very sweet, but he's he like shrinks away from me in a way that he doesn't with tea at all. Like he he loves he adores tea. And in certain places in the house, he's fine. Like he'll come into my room and he'll sit um on his cat tree. He's the only one who can fit on it. He'll sit on the cat tree and when he's there, he'll let me pet him and it's fine. Um, but anywhere else in the house and he shrinks away from me. It's really weird. Hi, I came to use your, your, your forge again. Thank you. There we go. Sweet. Hey. Just become a cybersecurity expert and only fly an eagle problem <laughs> solved. Tempted to put all my money in coin stacks. Might build a balcony just for it. Do it! I kind of wanted to put all my money underneath my house. Do they make special cat trees for extra chunky chunks? They do. Um, there's a website that does uh, cat trees that are tested for main cats and forest cats. And it's huge. And we got one for Crash because he kept breaking his because he's really rough. Like he'll jump onto it at high speed and it'll just break. Um, so we had got one for him and we're going to get one for the, the other boys. I carried a grooming tool around my chin as loves when T has a little bit of stubble. Help my cats have grown to be larger than expected. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Ass is ridiculously large. I need more wood. Um, but look at me. I'm making progress, friends. I'm making progress. We're going to have a village again, and I'm excited. I hope they don't recommend another... Um, I hope they don't recommend another restart whenever the next update comes, but it should be a while anyway. I think it's beautiful that you had the same thing happen to me. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's Crash. I thought it was Crowley. I was going to be all like, hi. I try to be really positive around Crowley. Hi, Crash. Keep thinking about getting a new fluff ball, but can't quite justify it at the moment. I I feel like getting a fourth cat would be a bad idea, but I am tempted to give my cats a common enemy and get a dog sometime. <laughs> Though I feel maybe three cats and a dog might be a lot of work. <laughs> I want to get a giant cat tree, but nowhere to put it, really. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know where I'd put theirs. I feel like I'd like to put it in my room, but it's not really necessary. Maybe I'll just accidentally rescue a kitten out of a bin. 
If we don't explore the outer edges of the map, we should be okay. There's already space for the mistlands in the game, but if we don't search them, then hopefully it will populate. Yeah, that's fair. As isn't a dog? I know, he, I mean, he's huge. The number of cats and laps equal. So Crash is a very not lap cat. Uh, he's never been a lap cat. Um, As and Crowley both are, but they both choose tea. <laughs> I feel like I should be offended. They both choose tea. So they both sit on tea whenever he comes and sits on the sofa. They don't sit on me. I don't know why. As will love me. Like he'll come and rub himself along my legs and stuff. But he just doesn't sit on my lap. I don't know why. I think As, the problem with As is that he gets FOMO. So he doesn't generally choose to sit on T's lap. But if Crowley's sitting on his lap, he wants to sit there too. <laughs> T does run hotter, so that might be why. He does tend to have a higher like body temperature than me. And I, because of my thyroid especially, I get quite cold. My six month old puppy, those not like peeps, but loves small kids and all dogs and cats, even if they don't like him, aww. Just noticed I'm afraid to inform me that I'm a steal your feathers. You're taking my feathers? Harsh. I can spare a few, but you can't have the whole lot. I'm sorry. Wait, is being called a thyroid thing? I'm always cold. Uh, if you have hypothyroidism, you tend to have colder extremities and you might find that you're cold when other people aren't, um, which I do. Um, I frequently have like really, really cold fingers and toes and stuff, um, but if I can recommend you anything, if there's something weird going on with your body and you can, please go to your doctor and demand a blood test if you have to. I I ended up only getting a blood test because I cried. And then my doctor was like, oh, hey, your thyroid's not working. And I was like, I told you something's wrong. <laughs> because I had really sore joints, like abnormally sore joints. And um, I'm going to need more wood than that. I had abnormally sore joints and I was very tired and I was getting very confused all the time. Um, I didn't even think of the coldness thing. Um, and I went to the doctor and they did a blood test and found out that my, um, they have like the, the thyroid hormone and then the thyroid signaling hormone. The thyroid signaling hormone is the thing that um, tells your thyroid to produce more of a particular hormone, the thyroid hormone, um, the roxin. And mine was essentially working overtime and producing too much signaling hormone and only just about managing to produce enough of the actual like thyroid hormone some of the time. So I ended up getting put on a different type. I, I am on like an artificial thyroid hormone, um, which helps a lot. My, like they showed me a graph. It's really cool. I'd also recommend getting mood trackers that includes... Yes! That's actually super true. Reminded me I'm due my annual blood test and I haven't booked it yet, so I'll probably do that. I don't know when mine's due. I might need to call my doctor's office and find out. I think it's due this month. Yeah, I'm an artificial thyroid. <laughs> You're told just to lose weight. See, that's, that's a cop-out, though. That's like a big cop-out. In my experience. Previous cat didn't want to sit in laps, but only, only in between the legs. Ah, cats. Um, but yeah, I super recommend going and having uh, a blood test if you can, because I, I learned a lot about how my body functions that way. If you have the option. Nothing colder than when your wife has come in from an early morning ice skate last and gets back into bed with cold feet. Oh God, yeah. Yep, hypothyroidism. It's a big thing, um, and it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating. I appreciate my body for trying its best, though, despite everything else. Okay, um, let's build a hearth. This is called the hearth and home update, after all. All right, there we go. Last one. Ta-da! I just want to know where it's going to be. So let's go ahead and remove this. Uh, yeah, that's, there we go. I am going to remove my bed and place it somewhere else. This gives me a little bit of extra wood as well. This is always nice. I'm gonna need to clear these chests out and put them somewhere more useful. <clears throat> Might have had a thing to do with her being large enough to not fit on most laps. That's kind of a thing that Az has going on, for sure. Um, he's, he's too large. 
All right, there we go. It's always empowering to hear someone else's experience to figure out your own things. I, look, it's something that's really important to me because I recognize how hard it is sometimes to advocate for yourself. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I feel like I'm gonna do like this. All right, hear me out, friends. What do we think? How big is Asnoy anyhow? Uh, we measured him from head to bum, not including tail, and he was 21 inches long. While well, he was just sitting. <laughs> I don't know if that tells you anything. And I don't know how big 21 inches is. 12 inches is 30 centimeters. So there you go. I don't mind gained like 50 kgs over two something years because hypothy hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism does so many weird things. I think I didn't realize what like what kinds of things your thyroid actually impacts your body, which is pretty much everything. Like a lot of stuff. Did you know that if you have hypothyroidism, um, depending on what caused it, it can actually impact things like, uh, it, it can react in the same way that celiac disease reacts. So like to gluten and stuff. Cause I didn't know. I did not know that. 53 centimeters, there you go. He a big boy. He's the size of a newborn baby. <laughs> um, he's a big boy and I love him. And I'm so glad he's a large boy because I think I, I don't know, there's something very majestic about him. You know what I mean? Dogs are oblivious of their size sometimes. I feel like cats are totally aware, but expect the laws of physics to mold around them. That is accurate. That's very accurate. In the same ballpark, yeah. He's a big boy. Um, He's also uh very heavy. He's like, I mean, I actually don't know what, oh no. Friends, something has gone wrong. Okay, fixed. <laughs> I was like half a square off. I was gonna be so upset. I was gonna be so upset. If someone pops out as a, a baby as big as as, they aren't gonna have a fun time. Mm -mm. No, they are not. There we go. Um, I think I need my hoe back. There we go. Cause I don't want I don't want grass inside my floor. There we go. Um, so I want to build. Uh, I need some core wood. That's going to be my next trip because I want to build this out to be fires. And then a chimney straight up the middle. That's the plan. All right, I have a little bit of wood left. Are oh. you still there? Greetings, fellow Vikings. Hi, Booty! Booty, thank you for the resub. Happy 51 months. How are you doing? Hello. No windows yet, so there's a new window. There's a wood shutter. I want to see how to make that, but I don't have the thing yet. We'll, we'll mark out where the windows are afterwards. Um, but I'm feeling pretty accomplished with our build so far. Just need to get the roof in, but I would like to build the thing out first. So I'm going to go get some core wood. That's the plan. I don't know why this chest is sunk in the floor. Very weird. Oh, I have some extra wood here. Did somebody deliver me wood? I feel like someone might have delivered me wood and I wasn't paying attention. So thank you, whoever that was, kind stranger. All right, we're going to go get some core wood. I'm going to repair my axe on the way past at Silmars. Woo, a little bit of lag. Weird, my FPS counter is now showing up. It wasn't a second ago. Thank you, Zutwire. The roof project is very huge. All right. Uh, to the bridge. To get out of your way, sorry. I like the bridge. The bridge is very cool. With the dragon heads on the edge. Very cool. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go this way and then I'm gonna go try and get into the black forest so that I can get some uh thingies. See, so at least it's not surprise stone. Surprise stone would be bad. They added birch seeds. Nice! How did I not know that? That's going to be really handy because it was getting kind of problematic because you'd find these birch trees and then cut them down and then they were gone forever. I'm not a fan of these boys. All right. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to cross over here or I'm already over here. I'm going to cross over here. Of course it would rain. Typical. Hell yeah, I want to make like um, a garden outside my house 
that has some trees in it and then have like a farm and then have um maybe my piggies that would be nice I wonder, so if the next thing that they add is going to be the Mistland stuff, I wonder what their next, or like when they're planning on having that patch come out. It would be very useful if it wasn't like super soon, so I have time to catch up. <laughs> no worries, Kukuchu. Kukuchu, enjoy your lurk. Thor? I would like to see Thor. Can we see Thor? I need to go north. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> I still have my bees in my inventory. Imagine if I died and my bees flew away. That would suck. Come to your house when you get back? Okay. I do. Disney Plus has Thor. <laughs> I meant in the sky. This is kind of cool. I'm gonna be so soaking wet. Get out of the water. All right, I need to wait till the water has, or the water, till I've dried, not dried. My stamina's recharged, oh my God. Somewhere along here, there's black forest, so I need to go that way. Yes, booty, it can. We were just talking about uh, that Thor. He looks great. I love him. Sat on a drawing pen and now you're Thor too. I'm enjoying the Thor puns, to be fair. <laughs> um, all right, heading this way. I'm gonna move my berries onto my bar. Booty, did you finish the bosses in this game? Because I remember you were playing it on your stream and stuff. Hello, Ben. Ben, did you ever see Madame Gandalf spiking makeup? Oh wow, that looks really cool. Where's that? That's at the tip of the starter island. It looked really cool. Uh, where am I going? This way. Can we get a shout out for Ready Set Ben, please? Ben is wonderful. And while we're at it, can we get a shout out for Broadsider too? 2022, the year of thick Thor. Speaking of 2022, um, this is actually not really speaking of 2022, but you'll understand in a second. Are we feeling about anyone who gives a shit? Um, the delay to Battlefield 2042. I, some people are saying they think that it is a placeholder date and it'll get delayed to next year. I'd be okay with that because I feel like that would give me more time. But I don't think I'm, I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but I can't think of anything I'm waiting on. Thank you, Stinky Streamer. You're welcome, Stinky Streamer. Has there been an update? Yes. Um, lots of new stuff. Still on 2020. I'm not ready for 2022. Ugh. Oh. You want to know a spoiler alert, Graftark? You can cosplay whoever the heck you want. And it'd still be 20 years early. <laughs> I'm not a Battlefield fan, but that is a massively packed weekend. It literally is said to release on the 19th of November. That is early access for freaking uh, Endwalker. That's a terrible launch weekend. Um, Sander, I hate to say it, I would prioritize Battlefield over Endwalker. <laughs> Battlefield is my baby? My baby. This is normal wood. Is it a different kind of tree that I'm looking for? Because this looks like normal wood to me. Oh, hey, look. Some carrot seeds. This is normal wood. Is this the wrong tree? Should I be doing fir trees instead of pine trees? Nope, those are also normal wood. Ah, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, everybody else would play, would play with besides tea? Oh, I'll play on my own. <laughs> I'll play on my own. Fine, it's the large 
round logs wedding night. I thought it was these big boys. I am getting attacked a lot. Am I full? I really am. I got one core wood. Let's get rid of those. There's some on the ground. Yeah, no, I, I, I got those. What I mean is whenever I chop this down, it gave me normal wood. Is Does it give both? I thought it only gave one. We never saw it before we stopped playing. Haven't done any in the worlds. Wait, what? As far as normal wouldn't normal. Okay, gotcha. So it does both. I, th I really thought it only gave one. Hello, Crash. Crash, why are you patrolling? Why are you patrolling? He's patrolling up a down. I don't know why. It's really weird. It's like he's trying to check the babies are okay and then he comes check I'm okay because you know I might not be able to take care of myself which is very cute but you tower shield uh excuse me it's a fancy shield it's a very fancy shield fair <laughs> I'll play on my own I don't need friends who needs friends anyway no um I am sad about it though because I feel like uh, that's a really terrible time to launch, but I mean, whatever. Um, I think they also said something about how, um, isn't like Call of Duty releasing during October or something? Oh, some money. Hmm. I get rid of my scrap. I take the money. All right, I'm coming back. It's still a tower shield, so can't parry. I mean, that is true. But then I never parry anyway. <laughs> That's expecting me to parry. There's another black forest at the bottom of our island too. Oh, I could. You mean I didn't have to go as far as I did? Wish clothing didn't take inventory space. I know. Like this entire bar is pretty much all clothing. I feel like it, we should have an equipment window instead. Cool, Brad. That sounds good. I'm just gonna run through here to get to here and then cross over. But I did a little adventure. I do need to get some copper. And I also need some tin. Although I think I left some of my uh, private saves. So I'll bring it over so that I can make some bronze. It takes a lot of guts to release something the same day as a critically acclaimed award winning MMO expansion. It does. I do feel like that's a really strange release day. Now I know they'll have their early access probably a week before that. But it's just really weird. Um... And I feel like if you're gonna, like, maybe I'm just being weird, but I feel like if you're gonna delay a game, why not delay it by more than a month? Like, if you need to delay it, why not delay it, you know? Oh, I mean, probably because shareholders and all that nonsense. <clears throat> Did y'all see me ranting again on Twitter? I need to stop. <laughs> like, a, a week or two ago, yet another person, uh talking about how Twitch is not profitable. And I was like, why do y'all do this to me? Correct, it's not profitable. Why is it not profitable? Why is it not profitable? Because they decided it's not profitable. Like, these people thinking Twitch provides this service out of the goodness of their hearts. <laughs> a mystery it just annoys me the worst part is, it's fine if you don't understand how it works it's fine but it's the fact that people use that as like a, a stick to beat streamers with and say streamers you shouldn't ask for anything because twitch doesn't make a profit streamers you're so entitled and greedy how dare you twitch doesn't make a profit <laughs> like don't get me wrong i actually think so the people who are saying, hey, I wish Twitch gave us a 90% cut of all subs. I actually think that's probably excessive. Um, as much as I'd love that, I think that's excessive. But I think 70% is fair. 50% is ridiculous. Yeah, they claim Twitch doesn't get, make a profit. It's, hot, it's the same as how like Starbucks doesn't make a profit. Because mysteriously they reinvested all of their profit into um, licensing fees. It's how Hollywood movies don't make a profit so that they don't have to pay people because, oh, the distribution costs. 
I, do you know what? I talked to T about this. I really wish streamers could unionize. The problem is that it's very complicated because of the uh, fact that it's a global thing. And frequently whenever there's like a company that has a union, like for example, a games company has a union, um, they end up taking a fee for you to be a member, but not catering to you if you're outside the US, for example. So I don't know how it would work. I feel like we'd have to do it across the board with unique branches for each country or region. Amazon, a known charitable company. Yep, they would totally keep Twitch if it didn't earn the money. Yep. Things don't actually make a profit. They stop being a thing. So like Twitch is still here, my dude. Exactly. This is the thing. I, like, <sighs> yes, you are absolutely correct. It does not make a profit because it announces that it doesn't make a profit. It's still making money and then reinvesting it into itself or into its licensing fees or into its, uh, oh, we have to pay the same amount as everybody else for our Amazon like AWS stuff. Amazon doesn't make a profit either. There's no, oh, it just annoys me. So I, every time I see it on Twitter, I'm like, I'm a rant. Cause I can't stop myself, which is why I actually think I just need to stop uh, using Twitter as much, honestly. Cause I was actually watching another streamer. I will not mention their name cause they are not here. They do not even know I exist. <laughs> But I was watching another streamer the other day talking about how they just can't do Twitter anymore because they uh, they feel like either they get into like really heated discussions with people um, and that's bad for them or uh, people expect them to know everything all the time and to make statements on everything all the time but they don't necessarily know the thing to make a statement on it. And then they, like, they said that it would be different if I was... Some of you may have seen the stream and if that's true please don't mention the name of the streamer because they don't know who i am and it would be weird um they were talking about how i think i feel like people who think that assume that i'm mentally well and that i'm able to make these kinds of big sweeping statements without it being damaging to me but like i'm not <laughs> i'm not mentally well i'm not in a good place to do that and i recognize that that's the same for me and i feel like i just need to cut myself off and stop doing it because it it, it is bad for me Jeff spends all your sub fees on space rockets. Yeah, and his 11 bathrooms. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Moving money around from one pile to another pile makes you say that one pile isn't. Yeah, exactly. Ugh, it stresses me out when people are like, yeah, but Twitch is unprofitable. So why should streamers get more money? Oh yeah, come see, I'm coming. Like, and as Anya says, there, people are, it's work. It is work. I'm sorry, but Twitch doesn't exist without the streamers that are on its platform. <laughs> You'd be a shit in each of them. <laughs> it just, it it stresses me out. Okay, so I, I am I am removing Twitter from my phone again because I put it back on. Because I thought I had boundaries, but I don't. <laughs> Very glad I never got into Twitter. It always felt worse than Facebook to me. It's just the only thing I use anymore and I follow so few people that it's really just a way to see some nice pics from friends. Yeah, that's fair. Where do you, do you want me inside the house? I hope I didn't bring friends. I don't think I did. <gasps> read map you copy some discoveries from the table that's cool that's super cool hi barb At this table you can record and share your explorations of the 10th the 10th world use the toolbox to record your progress and take a look at this large map to copy what others have explored that's super cool i love it so i have a question oh it puts my data on the map Ah, okay, cool. That's really cool. Your creative version of Twitter is nice. I need to curate mine more. I actually really like TikTok. <laughs> like, I enjoy the silly little videos. My brain enjoys it. I love your stack of money. Oh, he disappeared. I love your stack of money. Also, hell yeah. I love this. Okay, so cool. We can actually just put one of these we can make one of these in the middle of the thing how do you make one? Oh yeah it's the one with bone fragments fine wood bronze leather scraps and raspberries because raspberries the suggestion button it updates anyone who uses its map so you use the toolbox to record your stuff and then you use the map to record everyone else's that's really cool I like it I still like Twitter, but I just think I need to come away from it a little bit. It's 
So I guess this is my way of saying if you don't see me on Twitter very often and you only see my going live posts. Sorry. Sorry. Heavily curated site where you can choose who you can support and interact with and see a lot of their posts outside of a fleeting bird feed. <laughs> I need to use Fanhouse like a personal Twitter more. I currently use it kind of like as a blog plus plus. But I could use it as a mini blogging site and just post all the things in there. I guess the question is, how does the money they make from ads stack up against the sub? Are we even hurting them by subbing off Twitch? I honestly don't know. I love that people are like, oh yeah, but Twitch didn't meet its ad targets. Its ad target was $1.5 billion. And they got to like 1.3. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> Stop feeling sorry for corporations. It's so weird. Like, does anyone else just think that's really bizarre? How many need to be, hold on. I need to count how many walls I have. Please ignore me. <clears throat> I work in digital web management. No corporation ever meets its ad targets because if it met its ad targets, like, ugh. Exactly. Twitch also gets a ton of partnerships or tournaments, etc. So let's not say poor Twitch because people are subbing outside of the platform. Yeah, seriously. It's just, it's people. I don't know. It's people. Let's just leave it there. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's not an even number. Am I about to add an extra layer? So it's an even number. Actually, no, I'm about to add two, so it's a 15. But Psyche, Corporate Chan said they would give me all the kawaii monies one day. <laughs> so true. How very odd. I do like the number 13, but I can't make the thing work the way I want it to. Because I'm going to put some thingies every, like, three? I think every three. My idea was that I would do this. And then build these inside the wall like this as extra supporting structures you know to give them to give them a little extra oomph whoa i'm falling down the roof <laughs> why did you make me read this with my own eyeball <laughs> It's just silly. I don't know. I just, look, I'm here to vibe and have a good time. And yeah, that's it. That's really it. I'm just here to vibe and have a good time. <clears throat> and yeah, I, how did I do, how did I get into this? How did I, someone please explain why I, Psyche, oh, I need more core wood, shit. Um, managed to somehow become a game streamer. How did that happen? How did that happen? Vibe check. Ooh yeah, baby. Shake it out. Ow. My wrist is very sore. Um, I need... Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to put these here. So I can actually see what I'm doing. Because I can't right now. And continue building rooms. Something, something clitoris. <laughs> but real talk though, how did I, like, this is, this is what I do. That's really strange, isn't it? That's, that's, that's weird that I do that. That, that's weird <laughs> that I play video games and then talk shit on the internet. That's very odd. Probably raided someone else by the time we get back. So see you later. Bye. Have a great weekend. Uh, I feel like I need core wood for this. So I guess we're going on another adventure. I do have more wood though. It's just I need I need a lot more core wood. So I think I'm gonna go on another adventure. We got some more core wood. Um, Brad, where did you say the thing is? Where did you say the black forest is on our island? Is it just south? I mean new world to check out the new things and spawned by the sea. Nice. Where you are now. Okay. Coming. I need to get some core wood. Stuck between an Uru or an Owo play. <laughs> Stop. 
I can find the stream while looking for Northern Ireland streamers. And I can't leave. <laughs> it's a question that I don't think I should really ask myself. Is how this ended up being a thing. I wonder what would happen if you get a green tick by verifying your identity to Twitter, like the blue verified tick, but for individuals, and then have a setting to only ever see tweets, tweet, tweets, <laughs> tweets, like etc. So by verified, identifiable, traceable users. I I have concerns about that because from from my perspective, um. I actually, I like that there's a certain amount of privacy on the internet. Uh, even though I recognize that it would solve some problems. All right, I'm heading towards Brad, kind of this way. But anyway, sorry, I went on a rant. I keep saying I'm not gonna go on a rant and then I do. <laughs> oh yeah, I see, cool. I don't mean to, but I just, I think I need to, I need to spend a little bit of time off social media, really. How did this thing happen to you? Fluffy, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I, basically this, this, this whole TED talk brought to you by, I'm going to try and take better care of my mental health. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um. Oh yeah, okay, nice. This is actually quite substantial, all things considered. I see you two are chopping down some trees. Is it only the big tall ones that give you core wood? Did something just fall from the sky or did I imagine that? You're not on Twi Twitter. You can't see the witchy houses I find. I will be using Twitter, but I think I will be only using Twitter when I am at my PC. Is my 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 theory. Because I think that is better for me. Does the water flow key drop logs in the river and let them drift down to where you need them? I don't believe so. The water... In theory, the water does flow, but I think stuff doesn't wash out. Um, because you can you can use boats and stuff. This is a very dangerous place, but hey, look, blueberries! <gasps> I'm a beatbox and blueberry. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I refuse. <clears throat> but yeah, the, because there's boats and stuff. Is this. This is pine. Let's go. A big hidden file cakes for the foot. <laughs> Silver! <laughs> Thank you very much for the biddies. I appreciate it. <laughs> that is like my favorite alert now. It just makes me smile every single time. Every single time. No, they don't drift, but I always kind of interpreted that as the reason they don't drift is because you like put down an anchor. Come back! Oh, I have no room in my inventory. That's silly. Get rid of that. No, leave me alone. Go away. Oh, now it's stuck in my head. I'm not very good at it though. Whoever did that is way better than me. Freaking gray dwarves! They're just everywhere I go. Um, oh, I should put money down. How do you make a pile of money? Oh, you need 99. Oh, fine. Who's throwing things at me? Oh, it's you. You beast. We good. We good. I feel like they should drop core wood. Don't you think? Oh god, the beatbox and blueberry song is stuck in my head. And all it makes me want to do is sing it, but I can't. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Alright. Let's get some more of this stuff. Look out for blue friends. Ow, that was my face. Trying to avoid blue friends. I don't want to make any blue friends today. Is this copper? It looks like copper. <laughs> Corey, thank you. 
Is this becoming a beatboxing blueberry stream? <laughs> I think it is. Thank you for the biddies. <laughs> I'm gonna mark this copper because I might need it sometime. Copper. Ah, uh, there we go. In a weird bug yesterday where I just walked into a log and it murdered me. The trees in this game hit me. Oh no. Right, I don't know. Is that enough? I only have 30. I think I should probably try to get a little bit more. I... I need to learn how to do the beatboxing blueberry. That bird just flew down and is going to die. <laughs> it died. The tree. <laughs> yes, it is. Thank you, Beatbox. Thank you for continuing the beatboxing blueberry train that is currently happening. I appreciate it. It's so good, though. I have no regrets about making that into an alert at all. Absolutely none. I think I'm full. Yeah, I'm full. Um, yes, I know you're throwing stuff at me, you little bastard. Here, I'm getting rid of that. Get out of here. More buildy materials. Okay, I have another another thing to break. I just want you all to know that you all cheer me up so much no matter what is going on. And I appreciate it. Thank you for being so wonderful. Right, let's go. Let's get the heck out of here. Um, going directly north, pretty much. Wee! Uh oh, I got stuck. Do do do. I really like the music in the Black Forest. I really like going on blue adventures, which is where you go looking for trolls. Basically, it's it's what we call um, the Valheim equivalent of going to just chatting. <laughs> what is it about just chatting? I swear. Why do people... I mean, I suppose it's because it's kind of a catch-all category, right? <sighs> and people just go in and talk shit. It's really weird to me, though. I also wonder why people enjoy doing that. It doesn't really make much sense to me. Excuse me. Doo -doo -doo. Boredom? I mean, yeah, it probably is boredom. But it's weird. There are better things to do than... Is this somebody's house or is this a farm? There are better things to do than... Troll somebody on the internet, surely. Like, I don't know, masturbate? <laughs> like, do anything else? This is definitely somebody's house. They all size. It's your half detected. Pipe. I love it. Fluffy! Thank you for gifting us up to Heavy Metal Queen. I appreciate it. Now I'm... It's just happening. There are some trees falling all over the place here. Alright. Uh, I'm a... I wish I had more health and more stamina. I feel a little bit... A little bit low. We made a lot of progress in the village today, though. We'll probably need some paths between each of the each of the houses, but I feel like we made a lot of progress. Also, quite pleased with the fact. <laughs> Fluffy. I am susceptible to trains. Speaking of choo choo, I don't think we've had a choo choo today. Fluffy, thank you very much for the biddies. I I can't not dance to that. <laughs> Booty, thank you so much for the biddies. You find that noise so satisfying? Which We really are blueberry training. All aboard. All aboard! This is ridiculous, friends. Not... Choo choo indeed. <laughs> Thank you, Dom and Bear, for the biddies. Apparently, we doing we doing a beatbox and blueberry Anomaly train. Anomaly detected. Bishamoda, thank you for gifting us up to Polly the Lurker. I appreciate it. 
No, that's my hoe. That's not my. That's not my hammer. It's my hoe. Beatboxing Viking Blueberry. Yes. So, Mar, thank you for the biddies. What are y'all like? Oh my goodness. You're all very beatboxing blueberry. Babble, 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 thank you for the biddies. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah. This is incorrect. You woo choo choo accomplished. I can die happy. Thank you for the choo choo. I appreciate That's why it was wrong. Thank you for the biddies, lovely. I <laughs> this is your life now. I'm going to mute the game sounds because I feel this is going to... Video boxio noise. Video boxio noise. Aranas and monkey. Thank you for the biddies. I really appreciate it. <laughs> on the hype train with just the beatbox noise. <laughs> hey, did we finish level Happy two? Happy birthday, beatboxing. Onward to level six, where the real beatboxing begins. Absolutely not. Biddy, thank you for the biddies. And Bear, thank you for the biddies as well. Thank you for a ridiculous, silly hype train that makes me so happy. <laughs> so happy. Thank you. I really appreciate it. After the thousandth time, I don't know. <laughs> Beatboxing for the Blueberry God. Beatboxing for the Blueberry God. Uh, no. <laughs> I always said boobs for his throne. Absolutely not. Thank you, Booty, for the, the biddies. I appreciate it. That's where it went wrong. There was a bit of the floor that was wonky. That makes so much sense. There we go. Okay, hang on. All right. We're going to put this here. Actually, that might be too tall. We'll see. Maybe that is... Mm, yeah, no, that's too tall. We'll do the, the, we'll do the shorter one. There we go. Okay, hear me out, all right? Hear me out. Bloobs for the bloob throne. There we go, that's better. That's definitely better. I don't know, I don't know. Actually, no, I'm gonna need to do that all the way up anyway because I want it to be, yeah. I'm gonna have to do the tall ones anyway and it'll provide extra support up top. So let's do it. How many times can Psyche rebuild the same thing? Let's find out. <laughs> Oh dear. Y'all, I appreciate you. Thank you for always making me a happy bunny. There we go. Cool. At least 1,000. <laughs> Don't you call me out like that. Don't you call me out like that. I don't need that in my life. I think I'm gonna need to put the thing there. I think I'm going to need to put this right here just to get that right. There we go. And then build this up. Can I connect that? Why can't I connect these? Hello? Do a snap! I don't want to do a snap. Yeah, you have to support your roofs. Um, whenever you see the different colors, that means that they have uh, lower structural integrity. You might be a bit over ambitious with your build. I have to come see. I'm already a little bit over ambitious with mine, but it's okay. I mean, unless you're TBD Lodge. <laughs> I, what are you? You mean here? Are you going to do more? Are you going to go out there? I think you'll be fine. I think you'll be fine. Unless you have some other idea, I think you'll be fine. I love the fact that you did your foundation. You'll be fine. Alright, hang on. Uh, 
Just because these are wonky and it's upsetting me. Ooh, you can do it, Oro! Send help. No, I hate, I hate that part. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, where's my... I want to kind of give myself a little bit of extra space here. Because I'm having a hard time getting these to connect. Not sure where I'm going from here, but I'm look it's looking pretty good. I'm excited for you. So my my theory here, right, is that I'm going to build maybe like this. And this is going to be my fireplace kind of thing. But I kind of want... I might change the way I'm doing this. We import building materials onto your server. Do we need to destroy the natural beauty? Oh, you can bring building materials from somewhere else. As long as you're not bringing stuff that's like ridiculously beyond the the stage that we're at, it's fine. So like, for example, if you want to bring wood or if you want to bring uh, like iron or whatever, that's fine. That's totally fine. Maybe build a scaffolding. I think I have to, yeah. I think I have to. Thank you for that hype train, friends. I appreciate it. Hello. Oh, I'm evening out my bits. Nice. Oh, hell yeah, bear. Thank you for the biddies. Um, so I kind of want to put um, these like here. Are you still there? Like this? Thanks for dressing up for my 34 month anniversary. Happy 34 month anniversary. <laughs> Fraggle, thank you so much. Welcome back. Thank you. How are you? So, then I would put this here so that it kind of covers the edges. And then we have fire in the middle. Um, so that was there. And then the little crisscrossies so that we don't accidentally like set ourselves on fire. If you put iron poles on top of wooden ones, you get a bit more stability if you're building fairly high. Yeah, the iron ones are really, really like intense, right? Um, so my idea here is that I will push this all the way up. So I think I'm going to give myself a ramp of some description so I can, I don't know, basically go this way so I can build. And it should go all the way up to the ceiling so that we have a roof. Actually, it could probably do... Do, 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 do. I'm feeling closing this off into a central column so that the chimney doesn't have to be super high like this and then have um, this happening. Does this make sense? Okay, I'm gonna need to get up there. <sighs> Alright, like this kind of thing and then we'll need to we'll need to put a cap on it so that it doesn't cat it doesn't catch on fire <laughs> so it doesn't get wet hi robbie i was just watching one of your yes uh, ESO, what your youtube videos because they're easier to watch on my tv than twitch and you said my name and i was so confused <laughs> i'm sorry robbie <laughs> weird right I do need to, I'm actually going to start working on exporting all of the VODs because, um, going forward, just because it's easier. Um, because I know a lot of people prefer to watch on YouTube because YouTube's, let's be honest, YouTube's, ex like, watch viewing experience is much better than Twitch's if you're trying to watch video on demand, right? Because, um, like, I think Twitch has a habit of not remembering where you got to in a VOD. It's also harder to skip. Put them on the top. Yeah, that makes sense. What's the point of the central building? Um, no, this is going to be where my fires are. I don't have enough materials to do, like, the proper hearth. So I'm just going to do normal fires for now. And then I'll make the proper hearth in the middle later. So, like, this will be where my fires and my cooking stuff is. I don't get distracted wanting to talk and chat. That's true. Yeah, if you're just wanting to watch something, it's just so much better. I I feel bad because I, that's what I'm going to do. Basically, my archive channel, my uh, YouTube archive channel, is for all my Twitch VODs. They are all going to be on uh, 
they're all going to be on YouTube on that archive channel from now on just because uh, it means that um, it's easier for people to watch them if they want. I'm not planning on using it as like a trying to grow on YouTube or anything. It's literally just there because it's convenient, I guess. <clears throat> Can't see what I'm doing. Hope I don't make this wonky. It's already kind of wonky. Oh, I think I know why. Let's remove those and put mini walls and then big walls. Uh, like this. Should work. Yeah, there we go. Because we're on a roof, that's why. I've had, uh, yeah, the ad, yeah, ad breaks are annoying. I have, I have YouTube premium now because I got a free, uh, trial of it and it, <laughs> it's been such a godsend. You never watch VODs on Twitch if st uh, stuff is on YouTube, you'd watch it. Yeah, I'm going to be exporting. Basically, I do have a clause with my, my Twitch contract where I cannot export stuff to YouTube for 24 hours. Or rather, I mean, I can export it, but it can't be public. So rather than be in trouble about it, I have been, um, I've been very good and will be not chancing my arm. So everything gets exported after 24 hours and then it will just go public as soon as I can, essentially. I really need to snap this to here, but I can't for some reason. I know, Shani. It's so good, though. <laughs> it makes such a big difference. I just need to get on this wall and not fall over to my death. There we go. And then do this. There we go. There we go. It's so dang good. It makes such a huge difference. I never realized how much of a difference it made. <laughs> I was like, I don't need, I'm fine with ads. It's okay. And then I tried YouTube premium and I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. It is a huge difference. All right, okay. There we go. That's gonna be my chimney, which means I'm going to need to go up there to put stuff in for um, preventing it from getting any, what do you call it? Um, any rain in it. But for now, we could put some fires in. So that will give us a little bit of light. I feel like maybe making six fires was unnecessary. I think my previous one had three. But that's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna put one cooking fire or one cooking stand on each one rather than um, two because I don't really need it. Was a big deal until YouTube upped the frequency of ad breaks. Um, it depends, Enzo. If you have, uh, if you're not partnered on YouTube, sometimes your content can be uh, monetized without you earning anything. And I think when that happens, they just put ads randomly. Extreme Hearth Edition. <laughs> um, but yeah, it also depends on the, the creator for sure. Doesn't affect me so much on PC, but watching an iPhone tablet, I hate ads. Yep. I get that. I had the same experience. I watched most of my YouTube on the TV, so ad blockers don't really work for me. Premium is fucking great. Yeah. That's the experience I've had. I was not expecting to like it as... Oops. <laughs> to like it as much as I did. I was like, I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. Nope. I was not fine. Right. Okay. So it does look a lot cozier now. I feel like we're making, we're making progress. I do need somewhere to put my bed though. Because right now my bed is destroyed. That's going to be my little secret room. Um, and I need to move those chests, but I'm getting somewhere, friends. I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> didn't expect to like, comment, and subscribe it as much as I did. Are you building all this solo? This house? Yes. The rest of the village is everybody else's stuff, though. Um, I'm building this bit solo. Although people have dropped me some extra wood, which has been very much appreciated because holy moly, it uses so much wood. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Right, I'm going to get some more out of the chest. Um... And then, you know, whenever I get more, like, advanced materials and stuff, I'm going to need to rebuild parts of it. I need to build, like, a porch thing here, but it's fine for now. All right. So, let's get the roof on for the rest of it. 
Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, well, all right. I wish it was easier to build roofs without having to, like, put my life at risk <laughs> every time. And the structural integrity of the building. Right, that is going to get a bit rough. So I think we need to start thinking about putting more core wood in. No, I, I don't know if it helps, but I'm thinking I'll put some... So I was going to put them every three squares. So like here. A log beam. I need it to snap. Really need it to snap. There. There we go. Oh gosh, there's going to be a fire one of these days and it is going to be absolutely devastating, Fluffy. <laughs> Viking health and safety laws are very lax. They really are, though. I'm the ladder, ya weenie. Okay, where's the other one? It's there, right? Eh. Yeah, I can't reach it. Um, Maybe I need to give myself a little walkway. That's a wall. A little walkway for building. I'm going to fall to my death, aren't I? <laughs> if I fall to my death, I don't want to hear a single I told you so. <laughs> Is that any better? I don't think the bottom one's connected to the, fl the ground. I think it might be hovering. We'll find out. Let's see. Is it connected to the floor? It does look like it is. But it might be hovering ever so slightly. Can't tell. It won't be just one, I told you so. <laughs> There'll be so many, I told you so's. Alright, I need to connect this to the floor. Oh dear. There we go. Okay, that's fine. I thought for a second I'd run out of wood and I was going to be very upset. I thought my roof just caught on fire. <laughs> it was not. It's fine. So what am I eating for dinner tonight, folks? Because I have been told I have to have a takeaway. I could do a Mackey D's. Soup? No, soup is not real food. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't really like pizza that much. I know, I know, before anyone says it, I know that that's very controversial, but I'm not a big fan of pizza. Isn't soup a drink? Soup is a drink. <laughs> am I spacing these out correctly? I don't know if I am. Now oh, we'll find out in a second. Right. Soup is food, you heathens. <laughs> Crispy chili beef sounds real good. It's not even that I don't like pizza. I actually do like pizza. The problem is I think there are better foods. And people get real upset whenever I say that I think there are better foods than pizza. But I, I feel that is simply a statement of fact. Soup is a thick beverage. As an Italian, I have to appear offended. Of course, it's fine. I prefer pasta. Coffee is, coffee is, it's made out of beans. So therefore, yes, it is soup. I do enjoy soup. I just don't find soup is very filling. Depending on the soup. Don't get me wrong. There are good soups. I'm here to fight for soups rights. <laughs> um, kind of want to lay this along the top. That'd be weird. Might be weird. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, I need to put some flooring down for me so I don't fall to my my doom. Why is that giving it more structural integrity? That doesn't make any sense. That's not correct. Right, hold on. Um, So I want to do the little one, I think. Is it the little one? No, oh, I can't tell. It's too far away. Cursed food topics really are the backbone of Twitch. They really are. I feel like <sighs> it's only natural for people to argue over food. It is something that we all we are all familiar enough with to have an expert opinion. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's wrong. 
Everyone can be an expert in the topic of food. Why can I not? Please. Oh my God. This is going to drive me up the wall. Oreo mayonnaise? Oh, just, why don't you just ask Ben how it went? Ben, can you please give your expert opinion if you are still here on the Oreo mayonnaise debate? This is not connected to the floor and it will not. So I'm just going to do this. That definitely makes a difference, doesn't it? <laughs> it's that one Tom Jones song. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> there we go. Um, uh, Ben dunked um, an Oreo. Oh my God. An Oreo in mayonnaise and add it and then said he liked it. <laughs> Hi, Oscar. How are you? It was cursed. I'm ready to fight. <laughs> Don't want to live on this planet anymore. In fairness, I think it was a charity incentive for Ben. Or possibly like a subathon uh, incentive. So I can't even be mad. He did it for the... <laughs> Brad just walked up and punched me in the face. <laughs> was that for my opinion on soup my opinion on pizza or the oreo mayonnaise <laughs> can you tell my brother that we dared him to dip his grapes in mayonnaise once and he actually liked it i dipped a biscuit in mayonnaise once and i didn't mind it i'm gonna be honest with you it wasn't that bad i'm not gonna say it was good but it wasn't that bad PK. Soup is a drink, pizza is good, Oreo mayo, I don't know yet. <laughs> right, I'm putting this here to add extra structural stability to these. Because good lord, my house is just gonna collapse. I've run out of core wood again. I'm not gonna finish this build today. It's the, all of the structural needs. Alright, I need to build a wall. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need some scaffolding again. Uh, how hard do you think it is to re oops, to remove this ladder without removing everything else? Can't be that bad, right? There's probably more up there. There's some wood up there. This just makes you want tortilla soup. I made taco soup. It was basically just chili. It was very good though. Why they called it taco soup, I'm not entirely sure. All right. For the building. Eh. Eh. There we go. Also, if you want to see how I play this game, I added more stuff to the table. It's how I spend most of my time. Okay, hold on. I'm going to come have a look. Give me one second. Oh, that's going to need to be smaller, isn't it? Actually, no, it's fine. We have the little gap in there. Maybe I should do a double cross. What does that look like from the outside? Kind of n not good. <laughs> but hear me out. Better. In which case, maybe I'll just... It looks kind of wonky. Cupy Mayo is infinitely better. I do like Cupy Mayo. I had never tried it until chat got real mad at me and asked me why I'd never tried it. And then Rosa f like forcibly sent me some to try. Hot dog as a sandwich changed my mind. I mean, why would I change your mind when you're speaking truth? <laughs> What's the objective of this game? So you start here. You're kind of in like a limbo type thing. Um, and you have to defeat bosses to complete it. Um, it is, however, cooperative to whatever degree you want it to be. You can play it solo. Um, we have, as a server, done the first three of five bosses. Oh, yeah, that's a long... Oscar, that's an old command. I don't update that command very regularly. It is called Valheim, and it is currently 20% off. Right, hold on. What have you done? Let me see. I need to get rid of this. Oh, you find a delve. Wait, I only see the one. Oh, but the, is it you sailing? Is that what it is? Because I've not been that far. Is the game still in early access? 
Um, I don't actually know. This was their first major patch, though. There's a hot dog and a tortilla sandwich, a wrapper, a taco. <laughs> have you arranged the tortilla? <laughs> I re oh, I really want to make a crunch wrap tonight. I'm very tempted to make a crunch wrap. Like a Taco Bell crunch wrap, but I don't have one. Brad, my favorite thing to do in this game is to go on boat adventures with you. So I hope we can do some of that next week. I like the map table a lot, and it's also a really good idea. You've got tacos on the brain, so I would need to get some filling. So I would need beef, and I would need some Doritos. And I'd like to make my own guac, and I'd need some sour cream. I actually basically need all of the ingredients. I do have a grocery delivery coming tonight, but it's coming quite late. Remember that time we did a boat flip? It was amazing. <laughs> Still in early access and they said it'll be a couple of years before 1.0 and the latest chat update they had on YouTube. Oh, that's interesting. I am intrigued. Crispy chili beef crunch wrap. No. No, I really want like salted chili beef. Yummy. It Heck, I fell off the roof. I am not finishing this today, friends. I really hoped I would, but it is just not happening. <laughs> right, can, can I build this without the whole thing collapsing? Yes, but just about. Um, I really need to get... Please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. Okay. I really need to get... Oh, I don't have enough core wood. I need core wood. I'm gonna do one last trip for Corewood. Only one way to find out. We can do some on Monday when we aren't busy with bosses. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, the plan is for Monday we will play some Valheim. Tuesday, I think we might revisit No Man's Sky to, to do some more expedition stuff. Thursday, more Valheim. Because we, we want to do Thor's Day. And then Friday, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Got a huge medieval dynasty vibes from this game. I never played that. Wazbees. Can you be a beatboxing raspberry? Asking for a friend. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, I will be taking a long weekend next weekend, but it'll probably be the following week that I take the long weekend. So it'll be like the Monday and possibly the Tuesday because I can't stream on the Monday. Like I actually cannot. Uh, oh, I need to repair my axe, damn it. But outside your walls, not sure if you can build triangular chests or anything though. Um, so I'm kind of trying to plan where to put stuff under the roof because I think we can use that for storage space. Um, I don't know how to make it look. Heck, this looks cool. Senna, your building is so cool. I love it. Though, good lord, you're going to have so much fun with those... The oh my gosh, Trab, now I see what you meant. <laughs> you have so much going on. I'm impressed. The Tomb Raider crossover. <laughs> I think I can get rid of this staircase now, actually. All right, I need to repair my thing. Why is my inventory? Oh, my inventory's full. Hold on. Let's put some stuff away. Another Cinna masterpiece. I loved Cinna's previous build, actually. Um, I'm gonna put my seeds away. And I have blueberries. Put that away, too. Um, I don't need my pickaxe right now. And I'm gonna leave my bees here so that they're safe. And I'm gonna go get some core wood. I need to make dinner or order dinner, whatever I'm doing, soon. But I really want to get some more core wood real quick so I can just build a few extra supports so the whole house doesn't collapse while I'm away. Um, I kept my circling cores on me. I want They're quite heavy, but I want to make uh, some stuff out of them. Do, 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 do. All right. I feel like I probably could have done something more creative with my building but we can always do that later when we have all of the different materials because like there's all of this stuff there's all of these I mean I could build a dungeon when you flatten the ground does the grass grow back uh 
you can grow the grass back. I think with a cultivator. Um, I think you just switch to the grass tool and then it grows the grass back. Um, you can also uh, build the ground up or you can mine it. Cultivator, thank you. I couldn't remember. But yeah, you can grow it back. All right, how far do I need to go? Is this, this is black forest here. So I'm gonna stay on this side. I just need to chop down a couple of trees. I only need a little bit of core wood. Um, if the village starts to lag again, let me know. Um, we can do that thing to fix the terrain. Is it worth us looking into, is this copper? Yeah. Is it worth us looking into um, thingy? Um, the Valheim Plus thing once it's fully updated and everything? Because I don't know to what degree that's actually like necessary or whatever. <clears throat> Isn't this the, a new world? It is, but um, we find that the building, I was supposed to repair my ax. Oh well. Um, the building area for the village was started to get a little bit laggy on the old server, so it might happen again. Enjoyed Valheim Plus before the update. I'll have a look at it. We might end up having more people on Monday when we're doing bosses, yeah. Uh, I also need to look into what my host does for like more people. What's Valheim Plus? It increases how many people you can have in a save and it also, I think it has a couple other stuff. Oh, it's updated. Okay, sweet. I'll have to double check if they've added it to my server host already. We are a bit more spread out though. Once we start building the central stuff, that might end up being a thing. Quality of life changes. That's what I heard. All right, I just need a little bit more core wood and then I'm happy. I'm very glad it's the weekend. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm probably gonna be off the internet a little bit this weekend. I may hop on here if I can and build a little bit, but I am seeing family tomorrow. And then on Friday or Sunday, I'm seeing, or I'm doing the RP. So I am just aware that I probably need to give my brain a little break. So I probably won't be around too much. <clears throat> I've been a little bit better by doing that. Yes, it's a mod. This weekend needed to be here like yesterday. Seriously though. I am just so... Mm, what's the word I'm looking for? What, what was the word somebody used as a joke relating to uh, burnout? <laughs> right, I think that's enough. With V plus, you can change lots of settings, weight of items, inventory size, crafting speed, etc. Very cool. That's pretty sweet. I don't feel like it's necessary for us. To, so, like, well, I don't know. Maybe I kind of like vanilla as far as like the item weights and stuff are, but I do like the fact that you can tweak those. I used to tweak those in Conan Exiles because um, it used to get a little bit tiresome trying to play when it was just like one or two people. Drop them out from harvesting. That's cool. That was one of the things we changed in Conan Exiles because it felt like it would take you forever to get stuff. And also your XP. I'm gonna be dead tomorrow after live letter, but my sister's coming to see us, I think. Oof. I hope you get some time to sleep. Um, my mom uh, invited me to a thing at my aunt's house. <laughs> I was saying to T, like, I, I'm just so tired. I don't, like, I, I need a day where I don't have to do anything. That would be really nice. And that includes social things. And T was like, yeah, but you should do it for your cousins because your cousins love you. And I was like, I love them too. <laughs> so I am going there. It's going to be nice, but I'm going there and I'm going to then sleep immediately after I come home. Cause it's just like a family thing at their house. Um, and I think I should probably bring wine or something. I think that's something you do when you go to people's houses. Where am I going? Oh, I just need to go run towards Cinna. Yesterday after work, I laid in bed for an hour and completely dissociated. I I have like, I, it was a couple days ago where I just sort of went, I'm gone. 
I am literally not going to move. I, I read something about, you know, the value of doing nothing sometimes, and I'm really bad at doing nothing. So I just did nothing. And it was very nice. It was very nice. I need to do it more. All right, I need to go repair my stuff before I accidentally forget and break it. That would suck. Every time I come back here, everyone else's build has got more complicated. And then there's me with nothing has changed. <laughs> I feel that so hard. I can't do nothing. I feel like I could. If you took things away from me, I can sit in my own company and do nothing and enjoy that perfectly fine. The problem is I'm very fidgety. And if you give me like my phone, I will sit and do work related things. And it's infuriating. <laughs> Sometimes I hate the way my brain works. Holy, oh, I am excited to see what Trab comes up with. Very excited to see what Trab comes up with. Right, I need to build these last little things and then I am happy. I am not finished, but I'm somewhere close to finished. I can't do nothing, I get bored and I have to get up and do something. So I get bored, but I actually, this is gonna sound conceited and it's not supposed to be conceited, but it is true. I actually find that I enjoy my own company and I, I feel very comfortable in my own company, but if you give me something that I can use to do things, I will do things. <laughs> You'd have Brad come and punch Psyche in Valheim when she tries to do work when it's not work time. <laughs> yeah, in real life, just Brad showing up at my house and being like, punch. <laughs> right, I need to connect this to this roof thing. So hang on. There we go. I think that will count. It should, and it should make that better. Slightly better. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right now I just need to get over here and do the same thing on this side. You could eat another bite. Yes, I could. Game, thank you for telling me. I sure could eat another bite. Stop being so fiddly. Game says no. Okay, well, I'm I'm feeling pretty accomplished, but I'm gonna try and just, just inch this over a little bit further. I read the other day that, for instance, after work you come home and do nothing, your brain is still thinking about work and you should do something but something very different from work or whatever. That's actually really a good idea. Don't know how to rest during vacation time. It's impossible. It's very hard. I've offered to be a cake goblin and chauffeur in exchange for internet. I can add punch to the contract. Yes. Please come be my cake goblin and also punch me whenever I do work. <laughs> Just like literally, he's gonna live in my attic and he's just gonna come downstairs every now and then and punch me in the face. <laughs> See you later, Kukachu. Have a wonderful day. I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you for being here today. And if you do decide to play this, I hope you enjoy it. Real professional tip is to do nothing at work, then you can do whatever you want in your free time. Sadly, as much as I absolutely adore streaming, it, and it is my job, and that's cool and all. At the same time, uh, sadly, people would notice if I didn't do anything, I think. <laughs> I feel people would probably notice. Not that they'd care, I don't think. But if I just sat here doing nothing all day, people would be like, what's going on here? Can you bring me cake, please? I have no idea where this build is going. I am excited. I'm excited for you. This is great. I love I love watching a build in progress. Right, so here I think is where we're putting the core doodas. That's right. I did say core doodas. Am I making it better or worse? I don't know. That's half the beauty of it, is not knowing. Since I can't connect this to the ground, that's not going to connect to the ground either. It's going to have to be the bigger one. Oh no, it's gonna do that thing. Okay, it's gonna have to be the smaller one stacked, I think. That work? I think it did. Put out a cardboard cutout of yourself on street screen and play song clips of the Halloween you splice together. No one be able to tell the difference. <laughs> Made a small decision and attached one end of the bridge to the shell. Yay! Doing nothing and getting paid for it sounds nice, but the new job hasn't given me much for work, so it's just game a game of keeping my laptop from going to sleep all fucking day. It's really old. Oh gosh, fair. I get that. I hate that. I hate that. 
it's not fun. Hi Army, how are you? Good afternoon. Right, I just really wanna I just really wanna put a little Please don't fall. If I fall and die, shut up. <laughs> you saw nothing. I just really wanna build a little bit more. Oh that's is that over the edge? No, it's not. We're good. I'm gonna get smoked out at this rate. Okay, so here's my idea. In before I fall and get set on fire. <laughs> that would be very amusing, but also terrible. Um, I do not understand the mechanics of the, the flooring here actually working, but okay. Just home from work. Well, welcome home. Happy weekend, if it is in fact your weekend. Uh, I'm doing all right, but I'm currently trying to make this build actually function. I am going to get, if I get smoked, I swear. Crash is making little toot noises with his nose because he's snoring and it's very cute. I think I have to remove this. I hate it here. What do you mean missing requirement? Are you gonna tell me I ran out of wood because it fell on the floor? Okay, it's fine. We'll just destroy this, okay? In before, that was the only thing holding this together. What do you mean you didn't pick up the wood? Ugh! <laughs> so stressed. All right, no worries, Silmore. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Sorry that we lost our old build, but I hope that gives you something to work towards and you'll enjoy. Lurking some, playing some No Man's Sky. Ooh, enjoy. A trip into the danger pit. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine. Everything is fine. It's okay. We got this. Just need to do a little bit more. Ugh. There we go. Okay. There we go. Sweet. I did it. I think. I think we're good. Eh. Something is incorrect here. My roof is slightly off but it's fine. One of these roof tiles is overlapping. I think it's this one. I'm so mad. <laughs> okay, I fixed it. It's okay. It's all good. Okay, so we made a chimney. I just need to do something really quickly to make that. I'm gonna disconnect these. Oh yeah, I forgot these all fall down. So that was a bad move. That's fine. Building in the dark is hard mode. It really is though. Hit. Um, and then catch the wood, catch the wood. Oh, you son of, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say something rude. You get some floodlights. I'm thinking this will be enough to direct the, the smoke. I almost said the soup to direct the soup out of my fire. I am smoked. I'm getting smoked on. There we go. I think that's enough. Who is sneaking around outside my base? <laughs> Convince my friends to make me tacos. Yes! No soup in the fire, please. All right, I really need to finish up, friends. I really should finish because I need to get my, uh, my whole life in order, really, before my grocery delivery comes. Why are you hiding? Who dis? Who dis? It's Brad. <laughs> Is that a realistic goal? No, of course it's not. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in here. Didn't you just give up already? Wow. I want to make some torches right there. I also want to make a bed. But look at my little fire! We have a fire going. I should put my bed down. So I need a little bit more wood. But I have some behind me, so... Da -da. I'm just going to put my bed here. So that I have a save point. Because I don't have one yet. It's not where it's going to live, but that's okay. Ta -da! Hidden bread is the deadliest. Hidden bread crunching crust! All right, friends, I'm going to finish up here and 
get my makeup off before the delivery, the grocery delivery letter. Um, but I enjoyed this very much. Thank you. We'll play a little bit more next week. So for anyone who's interested in joining us, we'll do that. I will make a little announcement in the Valheim channel. Please be aware that it's going to be there and have a look out for it if you're playing on the server. Um, let me quit. There we go. Poor delivery person missing out. <laughs> um, yeah, this was fun. I had a lot of fun today. Thank you. Um, anyone who is looking for our Valheim server, you can find it in our Discord uh, on under the Valheim channel. Um, and the rules are all there in the pinned message. I will update those because they're not completely accurate. Um, but thanks for hanging out with me today. I love you all very much. I will be back here on... No, I won't. Hang on. On Sunday, uh, I will be taking part in the second episode. That's not how you spell. The second episode of uh, Commander, which is the Elite Dangerous TTRPG that I am part of as where I play Mara Pocket Rocket Murphy. I'm pretty excited to see how that goes. Um, and then I'll be back here on Monday at noon BST. Uh, we will be playing some more No Man's Sky and I, no we won't, we'll be playing Valheim. We'll be playing No Man's Sky on Tuesday. Monday we'll be playing some Valheim and I will be trying to do some, yes you heard me Corey. <laughs> it is on sale, it's 20% off right now which is pretty cool. Have a great weekend. And yes, do please rest, everyone. Um, the schedule is updated already, but if you want to have a look at it, it's on it's on the stream. Like, the thing is like twitch.tv forward slash psyche slash schedule or something. Uh, it's updated every Sunday, though, so if I'm changing anything in the schedule, it'll probably be changed then. Um, it is currently, it says Elite on Friday, but we might do some more No Man's Sky instead. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I love you all very much. Have an absolutely beautiful weekend. Let's go say hi to someone. Um, whom, though? Whomst? Um, ba 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 ba. We're going to go say hi to. Hmm. Annie! Annie is currently streaming Valheim. Let's go say hi to Annie. I love her. She was here earlier. Let's go say hi. Please bring your uh, tentacles over and say hello. And be nice. She's having a very chill stream today. Um, I love you all very much. Have an absolutely beautiful, beautiful day and a beautiful weekend and i'll see you those of you who are coming for the adventure tavern shenanigans that will be on sunday evening um at 7 p.m bst 2 p.m eastern and then i will be back here on monday at 2 p.m bst no 12 p.m BST. i can't speak okay i'm done goodbye i love you see you later go 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 do stuff be excellent to one another wash your goddamn hands stay hydrated goodbye i love you i gotta i gotta go okay okay bye